Bama. Whether you're a first-time buyer, a seasoned investor or builder, or maybe you're relocating to our area to embark on a new opportunity, we want to lock arms and guide you seamlessly through the entire real estate process from start to finish. We want to become your lifetime real estate partner. Find us online at TrittRealty.com or come on by our office in downtown Carrollton and get started today. Inception Energy Solutions specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal-approved and accredited apprenticeship program working in nine states across the southeast. If you're looking for an exciting career like former Blue Devil Brody Doss or Trevor Roberts, give Jerry Pounds or Hillary a call at 404-783-8646. Also, check them out online at InceptionSolutions.com. So join the over 70 employees that have made IES their home. That's Inception Energy Solutions. Since 2005, Caliber One Construction has provided the highest. and a fresh approach to health care. Old Fashioned Hardware Store. Old Fashioned Hardware Store. That's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service? Or when salespeople were knowledgeable about hardware, plumbing, electrical, paint, and agricultural products? Take it further back. How about when lawn and garden seeds were scooped from bulk containers? At Messer Hardware, the best parts of the past are alive, well, and at the center of our business philosophy. We pride ourselves on offering the old-fashioned hardware store experience you grew up with. That's Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. 
Since 1985, Osier Apparel has been a leading provider of custom apparel, specializing in corporate wear, custom t-shirts, and spirit wear. As a family-run business with over three decades of experience, they have established a reputation for delivering quality products and exceptional customer service to their clients. Choose Osier Apparel for all your custom needs. If you're thinking about selling or investing in your own piece of rural real estate, Cal Hardy with Arrowhead Land Company is the hardest working rural real estate specialist in Georgia. Arrowhead Land Company is a premier real estate brokerage company who has burst onto the scene nationally because of its hard working agents, cutting edge marketing, and grassroots values. Whether you're a hunter, farmer, rancher, or someone who appreciates the country lifestyle, give Cal a call today at 770-296-2163 to assist with all of your real estate needs. With over 25 years real estate experience, we dedicate ourselves to doing business the right way all the time. Hi, I'm Tony Tritt, co-owner of Tritt Realty, a premier real estate brokerage serving Georgia and Alabama. Whether you're a first time buyer, a seasoned investor or builder, or maybe you're relocating to our area to embark on a new opportunity, we wanna lock arms and guide you seamlessly through the entire real estate process from start to finish. We wanna become your lifetime real estate partner. Find us online at trittrealty.com or come on by our office in downtown Carrollton and get started today. Inception Energy Solutions specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal approved and accredited apprenticeship program working in nine states across the southeast. If you're looking for an exciting career like former Blue Devil Brody Doss or Trevor Roberts, give Jerry Pounds or Hillary. Don't play it till I'm, I'm going to introduce you to a special guest. Welcome in, Tommy Urquazo alongside Josh Stitcher. We are on the go up here in Gordon County, Sonoraville High School, where the undefeated Central Lions get ready to take on the Phoenix of Sonoraville in a huge region matchup. And uh, Josh Stitcher, we got a special uh, shout out from the great American dream, Dusty Rhodes, you say. Break loose on you, Jackson. Get ready for it, because we bad. Bad, bad. To the bone, bone. Dusty Rhodes. And the great Dusty Rhodes has uh, made his uh, his first WGTV appearance. Hey, look at there. Look at those handsome devils on the screen. There we are. That's me and you. That's right. I'm excited about being here, finally getting to see these Central Lions in some action on Friday nights. They have been, man, They've just really been a special guest. Welcome in, Tommy Urquazo alongside Josh Stitcher. We are on the go up here in Gordon County, Sonoraville High School, where the undefeated Central Lions get ready to take on the Phoenix of Sonoraville in a huge region matchup. And uh, Josh Stitcher, we got a special uh, shout out from the great American dream, Dusty Rhodes, you say. Break loose on you, Jackson. Get ready for it, because we bad. Bad, bad to the bone, bone. Dusty Rhodes. And <laughs> the great Dusty Rhodes has uh, made his uh, his first WGTV appearance. Hey, look at there. Look at those handsome devils on the screen. There we are. That's me and you. That's right. I'm excited about being here, finally getting to see these Central Lions in some action on Friday nights. They have been, man, They've just really been electric on offense especially, but their defense here of late has really come on and and has been something to see. And so I'm very excited about this game tonight, taking on a pretty good Sonoraville team on the road at the Furnace, the in, Furnace. Gordon, in Gordon County. Beautiful campus here at Sonoraville High School. Well, Sonorville won the toss, and uh, they've elected to defer, play uh, defense first. So Central's going to get it first. Jonas Walton, the sophomore, waiting back deep. You got a number on them? Let's see. Looks like 83 is going to do their kicking, and 83 if, is Mateo Trujillo. He's, the, uh, he's a junior kicker. High, booming, end over end. Get going to drive Walton all the way back to the two. He fumbles the football. Now he's got to pick it up. He's going to come this side and cut back across the grain. Walton's going to run it up over there. It's going to hand it to Walton to the far side. And he 
may have gained a half a yard, and you got to think this Norville team is going to do everything they can to try to stop the run. So it's probably going to be a lot of J.R. Harrison with his legs and arm through the air. Oh, with, especially with the weather conditions like they are and everything, you've got to think that Coach Umbre Brown and his staff are really wanting to uh, to run the ball at will and take pressure off the air attack from J.R. Harris. Third and five. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. There's a guy out of wing, single sets, Walt. Harris is going to look to the side. Now he's going to change the play. Three-man, Phoenix front for Sonorville. Har Harris is going to drop. He's going to look. He's going to throw. He's got four. And four is going to catch it up around the 44-yard line, and that's enough for a central James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram first down. Yeah, well, that three-man rush from Sonorville, Harris had plenty of time, and uh, he put a little zip on the ball for it to be wet and everything. Good-looking pass. Four again is being is who? Zylee Person. Person. Same set for the Lions. Harris is going to take turn, going to hand it to Walton. He's going to get to the edge now. Foot race. He's going to jump one guy, and they're going to try to trip him. He's still on his feet. They're going to have to push him out of bounds down or inside the 20, down around the 15-yard line, and that's just a little bit of what Jonas Walton can do. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Jonas Walton is really having an impressive sophomore campaign, and you can see right there just exactly why arm tackles won't bring Walton down. Far hash, another James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram first down for the Lions. Going to hand it. Nope, going to fake it. Harris is getting pressure. He's going to roll. Now he's going to look. He's going to throw. He's got a man. And he just undershot him. There's a flag, and I believe they're going to get central for right. either a hold or offensive pass. Did he catch it? He caught it. They just touchdown. called it a touchdown. They called it a touchdown. It was a shoestring catch, but hold on on the flags because it looked like – they say he caught it. I didn't think he caught it. I thought the ball hit the ground. I did, but I think they're going to get central for offensive pass interference. So just going to see what they're going to do here. But, I, I mean, it just didn't look like he caught it from here. Now, he may have. Of course, the line judgment had a pitch it to him. But, see – that's an incomplete it's pass. It's an incomplete pass, and the Sonorville faithful are cheering on, but that jet jet is an incomplete pass because it's a shuffle pass forward. That's right, and that's why you That's why you, you do it. That's exactly why you do it. So it's going to be third down and a small bus ride for the Lions here on the near hash, opening drive of the ball game. 8.59 to play here in the first quarter, nothing to nothing. Harris is in a gun. He's going to just step up. Now he's going to run with it. J.R. Harris, and he runs out of bounds down around the 29. He's going to gain about seven, does Harris. But it's going to be fourth down and a bunch, and you got to feel like maybe Central's going to try to kick it here. I, I mean, think it's fourth and a bunch. Yeah. I mean, you're kind of in that no man's land, honestly. Yeah, I mean, you got to have somebody that's got a pretty good leg. Let's see, that'd be a a 45-yarder from there, 46-yarder. Yeah. So it's fourth down, and uh, they're showing 25 for the Lions. Trips right. Harris is going to drop. He's going to look. He's going to throw down the middle. He's got Bolton. He caught it. Bolton caught it. Down inside the five, and that's going to be enough for a central first down, first and goal lines. And that's a James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram first down. And what a pass from Harris to Bolton. Just a beautiful pitch and catch from Harris to Bolton, absolutely. So first and goal lines. Clock running, 8-33, 32. Harris going to take turn, going to hand it. I didn't see the number. Ty Brewer. Is that Brewer? That's Brewer, 21. So he scored? I didn't think he I scored. Didn't, I didn't see him indicate, no. but, uh -uh. yeah, he scored. 
That's a touchdown. Well, I'll be. I did not even see it. Touchdown, Brewer. Snap down, kick is up. And good. And good. 8.27 to play. Central jumps out first. And they lead uh, Sonoraville 7 to nothing. It's the Inception Energy Solution, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week right here on WGTV. Inception Energy Solution specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal approved and accredited apprenticeship program working in nine states across the southeast. If you're looking for an exciting career like former Blue Devil Brody Doss or Trevor Roberts, give Jerry Pounds or Hillary a call at 404-783-8646. Also, check them out online at InceptionSolutions.com. So join the over 70 employees that have made IES their home. That's Inception Energy Solutions. Since 2005, Caliber One Construction has provided the highest level of quality, integrity, and satisfaction in every aspect of their company. While empowering their employees to address the ongoing needs of their clients in an ever-changing environment. Through a passionate work ethic and innovative spirit. Founders Jenny and Chris Elliott have the left footer Ortega has it teed up at the 40 far hash going right to left. Booming end over end kick going to drive their guy all the way back to the one yard line. He's going to come up this right side and he's going to get wrestled down 11 made to tackle Josh. Marshawn Horton, another junior on the central line team. Fantastic open field tackle out of Horton. So who we got for them? Let's see what we got. We got two pages, four pages worth of roster for Sonorville. So Sonorville's got it first and 10 from their own 26 yard line, 27 yard line. Is that right? Am I right? Are they inside the 20? No, they're right. Like they're on the. Man, this field is deceiving looking. Especially whenever you got about a six inch window that you can 20, 22 yard line. So Central leads it seven to nothing. I can't even tell their numbers. Quarterback is gonna drop, he's gonna throw, got a man out of the backfield, seven. He's gonna catch it down the sideline, still tiptoeing, still in the field, and now he's gonna run out of bounds, and they say he stepped out around the Central 34 yard line, and I still don't know who threw the football. I believe that quarterback is number 11 for Sonorville. Good looking Ty ball. Brown. Good looking ball to number seven out of Sonorville. Definitely. Well, they don't have him listed as a quarterback. 17's a quarterback. Like I said, Tom, 17's a quarterback. My man, ain't he? J Jackson Pate. Gonna hand it off. 11's got it, and he's gonna lower the boom on somebody. He lowered the boom on number 10, Jonah Wilson. <clears throat> Seven to nothing, Central leads it. Huge region matchup for these two. I think Sonorville came in tonight two and four. And of course, Central six and oh. Twins left, split right, high snap. Quarterback's just going to take and run with it, and he's going to get stacked up around the 29. Ball's on the ground. Central says they have it. The referee over here says that the uh, quarterback was down, so Pate was down. I think that was probably the right call. It looked like he was down. Hard times, daddy. Hard times. <laughs> Playing in this rain weather. <laughs> Ball here on the near hash at the Central 29. Third down and six. Really about third and five. Twins left. Got a guy on a wing. Single set. Going to bring a man in motion. Peyton's the Got quarterback. a flag on now the far side. Flag. Two guys in motion at the same time. That'll back them up. Six fifty one left here in the first quarter. Central scored on their opening possession. They lead seven to nothing. 
So Norville's on a drive, but after that penalty, backs him up five. It's going to be third and ten from the central 34-yard line. Near hash going left to right are the Phoenix of Sonorable. Some big old dudes on this team, don't they? Sure do. Trips left, split right. Going to fake it. Now here comes a rush off the edge, still chasing. Their guy's going to throw overshot everybody. Who's 16 for our line? Will Morris. Morris comes off the edge hard, forces the flush and the throw. And it looks like Norville's going to have to punt it away or they're going to go for it. I think they're going to keep their offense out there on the field. Might as well. Not a bad play call out of Central's defense. Norville's quarterback did a really good job of getting away from that pressure. Ball here on the near hash. See a 51-yard uh, field goal from there. Trips left, split to the right. Pates at quarterback still. Fourth and ten. I think Sonorville's going to talk about it. They are. Let's talk about our sponsor. You want to? Let's do that. Our sponsors, this is the Inception Energy Solution, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week, brought to you by 316 Family Medicine, of course, Inception Energy Solutions, Sorry. Osier Apparel, Caliber One Construction, James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, Tritt Realty, Incredible Pulp, Cal Hardy and Arrowhead Land Company, Messer Hardware in Bowden, Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Services, and Arion Farm and Ranch Supply. That's our people. And Bucky's. Bucky's. <laughs> The uh, Yuhu candy bar is pretty good. It is pretty good. I've never seen one of those before. I've seen them. Just haven't tried it. I, I believe the rain, the mist or whatever has fallen, has stopped. So that's good. And it's finally football weather outside. Fourth and ten. Huge play early in this one. Pate's going to fake it. He's going to look. Now he's going to throw his pick. 28, Horsley. Nate Horsley picks it off. Nate Dog Horsley. You and I were talking about him coming up here and how he has really just kind of been a, a silent standout on this Central Lions defense. He did a fantastic job of just dropping back into coverage and uh, reading the quarterback's eyes and just climbing that ladder to grab the ball out of there. Now Central's going to be in business first and ten from it looks like Sonorville's 38-yard line. Well, they're, they're Central's 38-yard line. But. Here on the near hash going right to left. Central leads it 7-0. 6-11 to, to play. Wins right, split to the left. Walton's your single set. Harris in a gun, going to hand it to Walton. He's going to cut back, still on his feet. Look at him fight. He's just so hard. He comes out of a crowd. Now he's going to stop. Juke back, four, still on his feet. Jonas Walton is a man. Good night. All the way down to there. 39-yard line, and that's a James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram first down for Jonas Walton. And the Central Lions. Very impressive run out of Walton right there, as you said, just making things happen. Here on the near hash are the Lions. Bolton's your single set now. Going to take turn, going to hand it to him. Bolton's going to stiff arm one, get by another, and he's going to get to the edge. Jonas Walton's still on his, I mean, uh, Cam Bolton's still on his feet, and he's going to run out of bounds down around the 15-yard line. They're going to say all the way down close to the 14, and they're going to give him. That's the James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram first down for the Lions and Cam Bolton. Down to the 15, first down and 10 central, leading 7 to nothing. That one-two combination of Jonas Walton and Cam Bolton is a dangerous tandem. 
Going to hand it to Walton. He breaks one tackle, another spin. Still on his feet, driving inside the five to the four, and that's another James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram first down for the Central Lions. First and goal, Central from the Sonoraville four. I've got to get some crowd noise. We've got to get that going. Yeah. Sounds too hollow in my headset. <laughs> Far hash receivers to either side. Harris in a gun. Going to hand it to Bolton. He's going to step in and out. Drive through. Touchdown. Central. Bolton. Great job there out of Eli Somerville and uh, 67 Big Ben Smith on the offensive line just getting a great push. And opening up an a extra wide hole for Cam Bolton to get through and and hit that score. 13 to nothing. Central with the PAT awaiting Ortega's kick is up and good. 4.51 to play here in the first quarter. Central 14, Sonoraville nothing. It's the Inception Energy Solution, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week right here on WGTV. Since 2005, Caliber One Construction has provided the highest level of quality integrity and satisfaction in every aspect of their company while empowering their employees to address the ongoing needs of their clients in an ever-changing environment through a passionate work ethic and innovative spirit. Founders Jeannie and Chris Elliott have made a commitment to customer service and customer satisfaction. That's why Caliber One Construction goes by the motto hype, how you prepare every day. Caliber One Construction Proud partner of WGTV and WGTV Sports. Welcome back in. 4.51 to play here in the first quarter. 14 to nothing. Central leads it. Ortega's got it teed up far hash going right to left. Sonova had a pretty good little drive going, and then Nate Horsley just stepped in the middle of a pass on fourth down and picked it off. Gave Central the football back, and then a few plays later, this ground attack is absolutely incredible. Yeah, it really is. Their ever, Central's every bit as good as they've been billed. High end over end short kick. Their guy's going to take it, fumble it around, still on the ground. Now he's going to get hit, still on his feet, driving up close to the 20. And that's where Sonoraville put it in play, first and 10 from their own 20-yard line. Our old buddy Steve Walker with Incredible Pulp Lemonade is. Sitting at home, got it on the big big screen. Don't got it on the big screen. You got any scores? I got Bremen up seven to nothing in the first quarter. And let's see what else we can get a hold of. So they got it first and 10. Pate's going to drop. He's going to look, swing it out of the backfield. He's got seven. And he's going to get run out of bounds after a gain of about six, maybe seven for Sonoval and seven being Wyatt Key, the senior. Rock marks up all over Harrelson County, 21 to nothing in the first quarter. Carrollton East, Cal Eater are scoreless. Cedar Town's up seven to nothing over Heritage. Calhoun's all over Hiram, seven to nothing. Bowden's up 12 nothing on Forest Park. Mount Vernon's up on Mount Zion, seven to three. Hand off, seven again. And he should have enough for a Sonorable first down. Again, seven being Wyatt Key. And Mount Zion, Mount Zion played yesterday, is that correct? They fell to Hampton, 41 to nothing. Uh, you talking about that's Mount Zion of uh, Jonesboro? Okay, we pulled yeah. up the wrong Mount Zion. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Mount Zion's playing Mount I'd... Vernon tonight. Seven again, ten with a tackle in the backfield. Tackle for loss, loss of about three. <clears throat> ten being Jonah Wilson. So 
So second down at about 13 for Sonorable. Three-man front on this defensive front four of the Lions. Pate's going to throw in and out of seven Wyatt Key's hands. <laughs> Key's going to kick himself when he sees that on film. He was all alone. I think he tried to catch the ball and or get turned upfield before he had his hands on the ball good and just ran away from it. So it's going to be third down and about 13 for the Phoenix. Third down and long for Sonorville. Ball in the middle of the field. Trips to the right. They got a guy split to the left. Going to bring a man in motion. Pate's going to drop. Now there's a rush on. Here comes Horsley. Nope, that's 21. That was Brewer. Pate still running for his life and going to get wrestled down for a sack and sack being made by number 43, Cade Moorhead. Cade Moorhead, the junior, on the tackle for the Lions. It's fourth down and a bunch, and Sonorville is going to have to kick it away. Great. Great defensive play call dialed up by Central right there, just giving the quarterback all kind of fits. And it's going to be fourth down and a one axle greasing, as Coach Best would say. 14 to nothing. Central leads it first quarter, clock running. So they had to run a guy on Cam Bolton. Timeout on the field called by Sonorville. Timeout on the field, we'll take it with them. It's the Inception Energy Solution, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week right here on WGTV. If you're looking for some of the best lemonade in West Georgia, Steve and his crew at Incredible Pulp Lemonade are serving up sunshine by the cup. With an extensive menu that includes strawberry, cherry lemonade, and watermelon, the menu also boasts a peach mango lemonade with natural peach puree stirred in the mix. If you are looking for your own cup of sunshine, give them a call or follow their Facebook page at Incredible Pulp Lemonade. There was up here either. 2.33 to play here in the first quarter, 14 to nothing. Central leads it. High punt, but short. And their guy's going to down it down around the 48-yard line. Yeah, hang in there with us, guys, if, if the uh, pitcher gets a little choppy on you. We're uh, dealing with a little rain and weather and and uh, a Wi-Fi. But, I mean, best we could tell from the feeds on our phones, everything looks good. Some of you may be having some issues at home, and if you are, Maybe check it out or refresh or something, but we're going to try to bring it to you the best we can. It's not easy to do when you're on the road. You get a lot of help at home, not as much on the road. That's right. Got Wi-Fi instead of a hard line. Four wide for the Lions. Going to bring one in motion. Going to hand it to Walton. Here's the reverse back to 11. He's going to get to the edge. Is that a flag? It is, and still on his feet. Good Lord, somebody just took a shot. Was that nine that hit him? It was nine or 25. Somebody hit him hard, but there is a flag. It's holding. Yeah. Pretty good obvious hold there out of. Easy for the officials to call. Yeah, nine made the big hit, but he hit his guy that knocked the other guy. <laughs> yeah, I know it. Yeah, best we can tell. Everything's flowing pretty good. That was YouTube. First down and a bunch. High snap over here. It's his head. Now he's going to have to run. They're going to sack him all the way back to the central 30. That wet, wet, wet conditions plays right into the defense's hands sometimes as it did right there out of uh, just a high snap from central. 
And so now Central's got it. Second down and forever. 20 right, split to the left. It is second down and literally a small bus ride. Six on the play clock, five. Harris is in a gun. He's gonna take, fake, now throw in and out of the four's hands and he got hammered. When he got hit, lost his helmet, it's gonna bring up third in a bunch. Yeah, he would have been nowhere close to a first down. It would have been it would have been a little bit more manageable, but Ford just got his bell rung right there. So third in the bunch, four of the Lions. Third down and a bunch. Harris is going to fake it. Now he's going to keep it. And he's going to run out of bounds, and their guy is going to tap on him and just kind of bump him. No flags there. Central's going to have to punt it away. Yeah, just a little. Keep losing. Just a little tap on on Harris as he was running out of bounds. And so now we're going to get to see. Central's punter, and I believe it is J.R. Harris that does the punting as well for Central. And I think 17's back to receive. Harris with the punt. Little rugby style punt, takes a Central roll. And it's gonna roll dead right around the, the 36 yard line. So Sonorville will take over first and 10 from the 36 yard line and they'll put it into play with 54 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Central's been playing really good defense this quarter. Sonorville's taking some shots. They've had some opportunities. So we'll see what Sonorville is coming out in. Got twins to the left, split right, single set, 17 in the gun. Man in motion, snap, and the play is blown dead. We've got a procedure called against Sonorville, so that'll back them up five. It'll be first and 15 for the Phoenix. They'll put it in play on the they're on 31 yard line. Sonorville breaks the huddle. They're looking to the sidelines to get the play. Running the man on late. Trips right, man split to the left. In the single set is number seven. Snap, he drops back to pass. He's looking. He's looking. Now he scrambles. Throws the ball just over to six, and it's knocked away. Incomplete. And it'll be second down and, and 15 for the Sonorville Phoenix. 45 seconds left to run in the first quarter. Clock stop with the incomplete pass. Central's got a good opportunity here to bow their back on a second down and long. Got twins to the right, split left, single set in the gun. Snap, quarterback's just looking to rush, and he is met in the hole by, it looks like, Nate the Great Horsley. Yep, that's indeed who it was. 28, Nate Horsley with the big stick on the quarterback. He gains a couple. It's going to be third down and about 12 for the Phoenix. Clock running, 17 seconds left to go in the first quarter, and I believe I think they're just going to let the clock run out. We're under eight seconds here. Five seconds left to go in the quarter. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. We have played one here at the Furnace. 
You are listening to the Inception Energy Solution, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week, right here on WGTV. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316 Family Medicine 316 Family Medicine, a fresh approach to health care. Located on 30 Dot Road in Bowden, Arian Farm and Rent Supply opened their doors in April of this year. With backyard gardening essentials as their main focus, there is so much more at Arian Farm and Rent Supply. They also serve as a full-scale farm supplier, and there's even some fencing options you can choose from. So stop by Arian Farm and Rent Supply today for some free coffee and all of your farming needs. And here we are, third down and about 12 for the Phoenix of Sonorville. They got twins left. We flopped the ends of the field. Twins left, split right in a single set gun. Snapped. He's dropping, looking to pass. Got a little pressure on him. He's doing a good job of getting out of there. Now he's just running and looking, and he just throws it. And he was, pass was intended for number 14 right there on the boundary. And number 11 came in and kind of knocked him and knocked it away. And so it's going to bring up fourth down for the Phoenix of Sonorville, and they're going to send out their punt team. I believe we've got Cam Bolton back in to receive the punt. There's the snap. Good punt. High booming punt. Drives him back. He takes the ball on the 25-yard line, and he's running. Gets away from one man, and he's brought down up around the 39 or 40-yard line, and that's where Central is going to put it into play, first and 10 from their own 40-yard line. Great job, great punt out of Sonorville. And uh, Central did a good job of getting it up to the, well, it looks like they've marked it back to the 39-yard line now. But Central will take over there. First and 10, 11.36 left to go in the first half. Twins right, split left. Harris is in the gun, and it looks like Walton is back there with him. Snap, takes it to Walton. Walton hits the line, makes a spin, makes one man miss, and got him down by the shirt tail up around the 44-yard line. Does Central. Central will have it. Second down, and... About four to go. Central up to the line quick. Twins right, split left. That's Walton in the single set. Harris takes. He's looking to throw. And he's got a man open. Number 11 for the Central Lions. He gets it. And that's another James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. First down for the Central Lions. So Central on the 40-yard line in Phoenix territory. Same set. Harris takes, turns, hands it to Walton. Walton's up the middle, and he's still on his feet. And he gets a, he's up over the 30 down to the 28-yard line, and that's another James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram first down for the Central Lions. Twins right for Central. White hat stops the game. The chains were in twisted up. Central's got the ball. Twins right, split left. Pistol formation. Harris in the gun. He takes. He turns it to Cam Bolton. And Bolton's down around the down over the 25-yard line, down to about the 24-yard line. Gonna bring up second down for Central. I am back with you, friend. Welcome back. 
trying to figure out a way to fix our feed. The Facebook feed was messing up, but the YouTube feed works great. So go back to our, our Facebook page, I guess, if you're listening, <laughs> or tell somebody. Harris going to swing it out, got a man, 26, going to catch it. Great block down the field, still on his feet, cutting back inside, touchdown. Nice run, 26 being, I don't know. I don't have a roster. What would you do with it? Well, I had snorkels. <laughs> at Central, Central's from I, I had Central's too. <laughs> Nonetheless. 26 being Avery Tanner. Nonetheless, Lord. fantastic pitch and catch from J.R. Harris to Avery Tanner. And yeah, we're having a great night. We are. Wonderful. He just did a little boot scoot and boogie shuffle on into the end zone. Well, I think that they thought he was just going to run out of bounds. Snap down, kick is up, and good. And Ortega's got a great leg. 9.47 to play here in the second quarter. Central 21, Sonorville nothing. The Inception Energy Solutions Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week here on WGTV. Are you looking for a car, a truck, or maybe one of those popular Jeeps? Look no further. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has been serving the West Georgia area for over 25 years, providing one of the largest inventories of quality trucks, cars, and SUVs in the region means you're guaranteed to find the model and trim which best suits your lifestyle. Once you settle on the perfect vehicle, meet with their team of finance experts. They can help secure you the terms and rate which best fits your lifestyle. Remember, there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. That's James O'Neill, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bremen. So Josh informed me that I stole his touchdown call. It's quite all right. <laughs> He's sitting there calling the game while I'm trying to get our our Facebook stuff fixed. And, oh, my goodness. I come back right before, the, right on the touchdown play. <laughs> Just like we drew it up. Oh, my goodness. 9.47 to play here in the second quarter, 21 to nothing. Central all over Sonorable. So the letdown blues after the big win against Cedartown doesn't seem to be taking its effect on Central tonight. Booming kick by Ortega. It's going to hit five yards into the end zone, and that's uh, going to be a touchback. Norval is going to put it in play at their own 20-yard line. I'll tell you what. This picture on YouTube is, good. is crystal clear. Yes. Yep, that's what we're going to start doing. The we're, we're, We just keep having too much problems with Facebook wanting to get too choppy and stuff. And it's a lot cleaner on our YouTube channel. So we're going to start sharing everything to Facebook on, from our YouTube channel. Then you'll have to go to our YouTube channel there. All you, know, you do is click on the link. Same thing. That's all you got to do. It's a great picture, though. So here we go. They got it first and 10 to the Phoenix of Sonora. We're going to hand it to seven. That's Key. Wyatt Key. He's going to run it up to 25. Gain of five for Sonora. Wrestled down by number 58, J.G. Burns for Central. Central's got a lot of good-looking juniors on this team, getting in some good quality time, quality playing time. Far hash, going right to left are the Phoenix. Going to hand it to Key, and he's going to get stacked up around the 26-27 yard line, and that looked like Ty Brewer As and uh, Ty Brewer led the way. Him and was that 28? Was yeah, that it was him Nate? and Hort Nate Horsley. Ty Brewer, just the unsung hero of Central's defense year in and year out. Third down and three. Four wide, three to the left, one to the right. Going to throw a little hitch out here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Woo-wee. 14 just got rocked. And I'm talking about Andrew Sheffield and who? who's 43 again? 43 for is Cade Moorhead. Cade Moorhead made himself a candidate for headhunter. Now, Brewer, I mean, uh, seven again. Goodness. Andrew Sheffield. Sheffield. He come up and stood him up, but Moorhead hit him. He really did. Leading candidate for headhunter so far. Fourth and one for them. 
at their own 29, trailing 21 to nothing. Looks like they're going to punt. Good snap. High wobbly kick. Bolton's going to take it around the 41. He got hit, still on his feet, and he's going to get hammered around the 42, not back to the 41. They're going to give him forward progress at the 42. Central put it in play. Great field position, first and 10 from their own 42-yard line. And I don't believe me and you've ever been closer, have we? We're pretty close. In this little bitty corner of this press box. <laughs> We're pretty close. It's all right. 7.44 to play here in the second quarter. 21 to nothing. Central leads it, and they got the football. Do the Lions. Far hash, trips right, split left. Twins left. Yeah, empty backfield. Harris is in a gun. He's going to throw a quick hitter four. Caught it. Going to get to the edge. Still on his feet. Driving up near midfield across to the 49. Gain a nine. They're going to give him down to the 48. And that's a James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram first down for the Lions. And that's person again. He's had a good night so far. He has. The one thing that I've noticed so far out of these line receivers, they don't go down with first contact. Harris in a gun, throw. Did he catch it? He Is that caught Horsley? it. No, that's Wilson. That's Wilson. So Wilson caught it. Took his own feet out from under him. An acrobatic catch. It really was. Second six from the 44-yard line. Three wide, two to the right, one to the left. Got a guy in the wing. Walton's your single set. Now Harris is going to look to the side, get the change of the call. Harris, Walton, still on his feet. He's going to gain maybe a half a yard. Now there's a late flag on a little extracurricular activity on the far side. I think they were just talking about what they were going to dress up like for Halloween. I'm sure. I'm quite sure that that's what they were talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. Well, one of them said, hey, after the game, Bucky's. Bucky's. Get Slice, a brisket sandwich. Brisket, chopped. 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 How do brisket. you want it? And I think that was the issue. That was probably the whole issue. One said sliced, and they, the other one knew that wasn't the right answer. That ain't the right answer. And so they grabbed him by the face mask, and that was the call. It was face mask called against Sonorville. 15 yard penalty. Why are the chains moving? Because it's first down. It wasn't. No, but it was. I guess it happened during the play, right? Yeah. Central call. That's right. All right, here we go. Bolton going to hand it to him. He's going to stutter step and then check back up inside. No gain. Norville defensive front's done a pretty good job. They have done a very good job. They a lot. They run that three-man front a lot like Central does. And those three down linemen, they do a fantastic job. 78 is a big anchor there, right there in the middle of that defensive line for Sonorville. So second, 10 for the Lions. Going to fake it to Bolton, going to throw it, and guy eight. He's going to get to the edge inside the 20 down around the 16, 17-yard line, and that's nine, not eight. That's nine, Josh Johnson. That's enough for a James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram first down for the Lions. First and 10 central. Threatening again, leading 21 to nothing. Clock running 5 16, 15 here in the second quarter. Twins right, split to the left. Bolton's your single set. Harris is going to look to the side and he's going to get the change. Going to fake it now. Rush on Harris and he's going to get sacked. 
Harris is going to get dropped back at the 21. Another good job out of Sonorville's defense. And number 11 just came out of his linebacker position. And Harris has got away from him a couple of times tonight, but right there he just wouldn't be denied. So Second that, about 15. That's right. Ball in the middle of the field. Twins right, split left. Going to take turn, going to hand it to Bolton. Still on his feet in their secondary, driving inside the 10, down around the 9, and he's going to be close, but just short. They're going to back him up, say he went down at the 10. This one says the 9, the far guy says 10. And I don't know where they put right inside the 10-yard line. And they need what? Around the eight for the first down, nine, yes. seven. They're down and short for the Lions. Brewer checks in the game. Or checks in at offense anyway. It's already been in the game. The illegal substitution called against Central. They broke the huddle with too many men. And that will get you every time. So out of back, the line's up five. It's going to be third down and eight. Clock running, 
and a fresh approach to health care. Old Fashioned Hardware Store. That's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service? Or when salespeople were knowledgeable about hardware, plumbing, electrical, paint, and agricultural products? Take it further back. How about when lawn and garden seeds were scooped from bulk containers? At Messer Hardware, the best parts of the past are alive, well, and at the center of our business philosophy. We pride ourselves on offering the old-fashioned hardware store experience you grew up with. That's Messer and a fresh approach to health care. Old-fashioned hardware store. That's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided Old-fashioned hardware store. That's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service and a fresh approach to health care. Old-fashioned hardware store. That's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service? Or when salespeople were knowledgeable about hardware, plumbing? It's adorable. Both of them have cannons. That time he just skipped the ball to 14. Thank you, this is Harris. Pretty accurate with him. He's deadly accurate. Far hash, second and 10 for Sonorable. 222 to play here in the first half. Gonna hand it to Key. He's gonna get in our secondary. Now he's gonna split the field, foot race. Nobody's gonna catch him. Touchdown, Sonorable. White key on the score for Sonorable. And he's done it all for them offensively in this first half of football. That's his, uh, that's their quarterback's first look when he drops back to pass. And then right there, just hands the ball off to him. Sonorable's line did a great job of just opening up a hole and he did a good job of finding it. What's her kicker's number, 63, or is that 83? That's 83. Mateo Chirillo. Kicks up. Kick is good. 2-11 to play here in the first half, 24-7. to Central leads it now. See there, I come in. Kicks up. Kick is good. 2-11 to play here in the first half, 24-7. to Central leads it now. See there, I come in. <laughs> and what happened? <laughs> Two plays later, they scored <laughs> <laughs> you got any more scores, Josh? I'm gonna shut up and say I'm just gonna stay in the truck the second half and let you call the game. That's Is probably that right? probably not a, the best idea, but it's certainly probably not the worst idea either. Let me see if I can find some scores here. Well, Calhoun and Hiram. Calhoun leads them right now, 17 to 14. 14. I just heard that. That's trying to good get over score there. stream to pull up. Hiram is good. 35 to nothing at the half. Rock Mart leading Harrelson County. Carrollton's up 21 to nothing over East Coweta in the second. Cedartown still got a 14-7 lead over Heritage. Bowden's up 35 to nothing over Forest Park. At the half, Lafayette's up 14 to seven over Bremen. And at the half, Mount Vernon's up 28 to 10 over Mount Zion. And that's about what I got. That's your caliber one construction scoreboard, isn't it? That is it. Ball teed up in the middle of the 40, 24 to seven now, 2-11 to play here in the second quarter. Central leads it. Little pooch kick. It's gonna hit the field and the ball's on the ground and I believe Sonorable has recovered it. The pooch kick, nobody from Central wanted to take charge and take the football. It bounced around, hit up high, went in the air. And Sonorville come down with it. Now they got an opportunity with 2.07 to play and uh, 
One timeout, they got an opportunity to put points back on the board, and then they're going to get the ball to start the second half. So, all of a sudden, it's gotten interesting. That's went a great from twenty-four to nothing, and now it's twenty-four-seven, and Sonorville's got the football. That's a great, a great call out of Sonorville staff. I mean, you don't want to kick it deep to the weapon that Central has back deep, and their up men just weren't paying close enough attention. Didn't expect that. Little hitter. Pitch. Almost like the hook and lateral there, wasn't it? Almost like the oop de oop minus Billy Bob. Got to have Billy Bob. So we'll just call that the hook and ladder. Coach Some... Hosteller didn't ever let you run no. the Billy Bob. No. He no, didn't no. get to do no oop de oop. No, no, no. We didn't, we didn't pass the ball but about 12 times a year. And those 12 run times. The ball. It, 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 what was it? We ran six plays, but it's kind of like Novocaine. Just give it time. <laughs> It'll work. <laughs> It'll work. They're going to bring a man in motion. Second down and nine. Pate's going to throw. He's got a man. Good Lord. Oh, my goodness. What a hit. There's flags everywhere. I'm not so sure it wasn't a bad hit. I think he hit him with his shoulder. It looked like he hit him with his shoulder, but my goodness, who is know. eight for Central? Eight for Central definitely made himself a candidate for the headhunter. Eight in Ralph Ford. Man, do we have a – we don't have replay of that, do we? Good Lord. That I don't, hurt I me. don't believe he hit him with his helmet. I think he led with his shoulder. I think he did as well. But, but he that's, just hammered him. It don't matter what we think the officials, and they didn't like the hit, but what's that old adage? When you geographically up above Rome, things happen. Get weird. You can get weird. Real. Really quick. Hard times, baby. Hard times, <laughs> daddy. <laughs> so, Sonorville's going to get 15 yards tacked on to this. So the ball is going to be moved all the way down around the 18-yard line. 154 to play here in the second quarter. So Norville's got it first and ten. Trailing Central 24 to seven. That was a hit that that young man got up and felt immediately in his medulla oblongata. Yes, sir. Pate's going to keep it. He's going to spin, get tackled. And that's Brewer and 20. Who's 20? 20 is going to be Campus Bailey. And then 15 to Carlos Williams in there in the mix as well for the Lions. Fox continues to run. 129, 28, 24 to 7. Central leads it. Pate going to take turn, going to hand it to Key Wyatt. Now he's going to cut back. He's going to get wrestled down around the 10-yard line. He's going to be close to a Sonorable first down. Fox still running. It's third down and about two. Saying it got marked down at the 11. I thought it got up closer to the 10 as well. So it's... Third down and a long two for Sonorville. And Perry's got the first down, and Sonorville is going to have to use their final timeout, and they are. So he's right on the 10. He needs about the nine. It should be fourth and one for Sonorville. No more timeouts for them. 35 seconds to play. Central leads it 24. To seven. Homecoming here at, at the Furnace on the campus of Sonorville High School. Is it homecoming? It's homecoming. Look across the way there and see all the all the ladies in their pretty dresses and 
didn't notice that. Dads and everything dressed up on this lovely, lovely night. Of course, I believe the the rain has stopped, so so that works. 35 seconds left to go in this first half. Fourth down and two for the Phoenix there on their own 10-yard line. For those of you watching, we'll try our best to see if we can get the, uh, the Facebook uh, feedback up and running well for us here in the second half. If not, just continue to share this uh, YouTube channel. This is uh, the WGTV YouTube channel. And the uh, stream actually works pretty good on it, doesn't it, Aaron? It did, but we're back. So Sonorville's got it, four wide, man in motion. It's 14, snap, he fakes the handoff and he just tosses it up and it's incomplete. So Central's defense bends but does not break with 29 seconds left to go in the first half. Central takes over. First and 10 from their own 10-yard line. I'm not so sure about that call, fourth and one. I don't. You might have tried something different, don't you? I, I probably would as well. I would have definitely looked number seven's way. White Key, he's been pretty consistent on offense. you got to think Central at least is going to come out here and nail on it and be done with this half, right? You would think, or maybe they take a shot and see if they can bust one. You mean, they've got three timeouts left. And weapons. And weapons, so if they could bust one, they'd certainly be in business. So here they go. Harris is going to hand it to Bolton. He's going to cut back up in their secondary and drive up over the 19 or somewhere right around the 20. And Central calls their first timeout with 21 seconds left to go in the first half. So 20 seconds to play here in the first half timeout. Will. Central's got the football, 24 to seven, they lead with 20 seconds and now they got two timeouts. And we'll thank, take this time to thank our sponsors. Of course, this is the Inception Energy Solution, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week. Sponsored by 316 Family Medicine, the Inception Energy Solutions, Osier Apparel, Caliber One Construction, James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, Tritt Realty, Incredible Pulp, Cal Hardy with Arrowhead Land Company, Messer Hardware in Bowden, Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Services, and Arion Farm and Ranch Supply. And they're getting ready to go is Central. Call you a touchdown. They're I got to throw one. twins left. Snap. He hands it to Walton. And Walton is out on this side running. He's looking for room and just not going to find any. And so Central is going to take their second time out of the half. I believe that's enough for a James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram first down. They didn't take their time out. The time stopped for the chains to move. And now the clock's running. Harris takes, turns, hands it to Walton. Walton just hit up the middle and... Stopped after about a five or six yard gain. And that's going to do it for the first half. We've played one half of football here at the Furnace in Sonorville. Your score, the Central Lions 24, the Sonorville Phoenix 7. You're listening to the Inception Energy Solution, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week right here on WGTV. Old Fashioned Hardware Store. That's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service? Or when salespeople were knowledgeable about hardware, plumbing, electrical, paint, and agricultural products? Take it further back. How about when lawn and garden seeds were scooped from bulk containers? At Messer Hardware, the best parts of the past are alive, well, and at the center of our business philosophy. We pride ourselves on offering the old-fashioned hardware store experience you grew up with. That's Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Since 1985, Osier Apparel has been a leading provider of custom apparel, specializing in corporate wear, custom t-shirts, and spirit wear. As a family-run business with over three decades of experience, 
They have established a reputation for delivering quality products and exceptional customer service to their clients. Choose Osier Apparel for all your custom needs. If you're thinking about selling or investing in your own piece of rural real estate, Cal Hardy with Arrowhead Land Company is the hardest working rural real estate specialist in Georgia. Arrowhead Land Company is a premier real estate brokerage company who has burst onto the scene nationally because of its hard working agents, cutting edge marketing, and grassroots values. Whether you're a hunter, farmer, rancher, or someone who appreciates the country lifestyle, give Cal a call today at 770-296-2163 to assist with all all of your real estate needs. With over 25 years real estate experience, we dedicate ourselves to doing business the right way all the time. Hi, I'm Tony Tritt, co-owner of Tritt Realty, a premier real estate brokerage serving Georgia and Alabama. Whether you're a first time buyer, a seasoned investor or builder, or maybe you're relocating to our area to embark on a new opportunity, we want to lock arms and guide you seamlessly through the entire real estate process from start to finish. We want to become your lifetime real estate partner. Find us online at trittrealty.com or come on by our office in downtown Carrollton and get started today. Inception Energy Solutions specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal approved and accredited apprenticeship program working in nine states across the southeast. If you're looking for an exciting career like former Blue Devil Brody Doss or Trevor Roberts, give Jerry Pounds or Hillary a call at 404-783-8646. Also, check them out online at InceptionSolutions.com. So join the over 70 employees that have made IES their home. That's Inception Energy Solutions. Since 2005, Caliber One Construction has provided the highest level of quality, integrity, and satisfaction in every aspect of their company. While empowering their employees to address the ongoing needs of their clients in an ever-changing environment. Through a passionate work ethic and innovative spirit. Founders Jeannie and Chris Elliott have made a commitment to customer service and customer satisfaction. That's why Caliber One Construction goes by the motto Hype, how you prepare every day. Caliber One Construction, proud partner of WGTV and WGTV Sports. If you're looking for some of the best lemonade in West Georgia, Steve and his crew at Incredible Pulp Lemonade are serving up sunshine by the cup. With an extensive menu that includes strawberry, cherry lemonade, and watermelon, the menu also boasts a peach mango lemonade with natural peach puree stirred in the mix. If you are looking for your own cup of sunshine, give them a call or follow their Facebook page at Incredible Pulp Lemonade. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316 Family Medicine 316 Family Medicine, a fresh approach to health care. Located on 30 Dot Road in Bowden, Arian Farm and Rent Supply opened their doors in April of this year. With backyard gardening essentials as their main focus, there is so much more at Arian Farm and Rent Supply. They also serve as a full scale farm supplier, and there's even some fencing options you can choose from. So stop by Arian Farm and Rent Supply today for some free coffee and all of your farming needs. Are you looking for a car, a truck, or maybe one of those popular Jeeps? Look no further. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has been serving the West Georgia area for over 25 years, providing one of the largest inventories of quality trucks, cars and SUVs in the region means you're guaranteed to find the model and trim which best suits your lifestyle. Once you settle on the perfect vehicle, meet with their team of finance experts. They can help secure you the terms and rate which best fits your lifestyle. Remember, there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. That's James O'Neill, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bremen. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Service is your go-to for all your mulching, brush cutting, trenching, grading, excavator services, and more. Over in 2018, Ryan and his team have made a commitment for customer service and satisfaction. 
For all your mulching and skid steer needs, give Ryan and his team a call at 678-378-0683. That's 678-378-0683. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Services. In Bout. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram is a family-owned and operated dealership serving West Georgia and East Alabama and supporting high school sports since the doors opened in 1990. Whether it's sales, service, parts, or financing, we're here for all your automotive needs. As the service and satisfaction winner for the past eight years and the number one Ram dealer for the past 16 years, it's guaranteed that there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. If you can't make it out to see us, we'll deliver a unit straight to your doorstep. So give us a call today or visit us online at O'NeillDodge.com, where we make the buying experience easy. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316familymedicine.us 316 Family Medicine a fresh approach to health care Old Fashioned Hardware Store that's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service or when salespeople were knowledgeable about hardware, plumbing, electrical, paint and agricultural products Take it further back How about when lawn and garden seeds were scooped from bulk containers At Messer Hardware, the best parts of the past are alive, well, and at the center of our business philosophy. We pride ourselves on offering the old-fashioned hardware store experience you grew up with. That's Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Since 1985, Osier Apparel has been a leading provider of custom apparel, specializing in corporate wear, custom t-shirts, and spirit wear. As a family-run business with over three decades of experience, They have established a reputation for delivering quality products and exceptional customer service to their clients. Choose Osier Apparel for all your custom needs. If you're thinking about selling or investing in your own piece of rural real estate, Cal Hardy with Arrowhead Land Company is the hardest working rural real estate specialist in Georgia. Arrowhead Land Company is a premier real estate brokerage company who has burst onto the scene nationally because of its hard working agents, cutting edge marketing, and grassroots values. Whether you're a hunter, farmer, rancher, or someone who appreciates the country lifestyle, give Cal a call today at 770-296-2163 to assist with all of your real estate needs. With over 25 years real estate experience, we dedicate ourselves to doing business the right way all the time. Hi, I'm Tony Tritt, co-owner of Tritt Realty, a premier real estate brokerage serving Georgia and Alabama. Whether you're a first-time buyer, a seasoned investor or builder, or maybe you're relocating to our area to embark on a new opportunity, we want to lock arms and guide you seamlessly through the entire real estate process from start to finish. We want to become your lifetime real estate partner. Find us online at trittrealty.com or come on by our office in downtown Carrollton and get started today. Inception Energy Solutions specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal-approved and accredited apprenticeship program working in nine states across the southeast. If you're looking for an exciting career like former Blue Devil Brody Doss or Trevor Roberts, give Jerry Pounds or Hillary a call at 404-783-8646. Also, check them out online at InceptionSolutions.com. So join the over 70 employees that have made IES their home. That's Inception Energy Solutions. Since 2005, Caliber One Construction has provided the highest level of quality, integrity, and satisfaction in every aspect of their company. While empowering their employees to address the ongoing needs of their clients in an ever-changing environment. Through a passionate work ethic and innovative spirit. Founders Jeannie and Chris Elliott have made a commitment to customer service and customer satisfaction. That's why Caliber One Construction goes by the motto, Hype, how you prepare every day. Caliber One Construction, proud partners of WGTV and WGTV Sports. If you're looking for some of the best lemonade in West Georgia, Steve and his crew at Incredible Pulp Lemonade are serving up sunshine by the cup. 
with an extensive menu that includes strawberry, cherry lemonade, and watermelon. The menu also boasts a peach mango lemonade with natural peach puree stirred in the mix. If you are looking for your own cup of sunshine, give them a call or follow their Facebook page at Incredible Pope Lemonade. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316 Family Medicine 316 Family Medicine, a fresh approach to health care. Located on 30 Dot Road in Bowden, Arian Farm and Rent Supply opened their doors in April of this year. With backyard gardening essentials as their main focus, there is so much more at Arian Farm and Ranch Supply. They also serve as a full-scale farm supplier, and there's even some fencing options you can choose from. So stop by Arian Farm and Ranch Supply today for some free coffee and all of your farming needs. Are you looking for a car, a truck, or maybe one of those popular Jeeps? Look no further. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has been serving the West Georgia area for over 25 years, providing one of the largest inventories of quality trucks, cars, and SUVs in the region means you're guaranteed to find the model and trim which best suits your lifestyle. Once you settle on the perfect vehicle, meet with their team of finance experts. They can help secure you the terms and rate which best fit your lifestyle. Remember, there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. That's James O'Neill, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bremen. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Service is your go-to for all your mulching, brush cutting, trenching, grading, excavator services, and more. Over in 2018, Ryan and his team have made a commitment for customer service and satisfaction. For all your mulching and skid steer needs, give Ryan and his team a call at 678-378-0683. That's 678-378-0683. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Services in Bowden. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram is a family owned and operated dealership serving West Georgia and East Alabama and supporting high school sports since the doors opened in 1990. Whether it's sales, service, parts, or financing, we're here for all your automotive needs. As the service and satisfaction winner for the past eight years and the number one Ram dealer for the past 16 years, it's guaranteed that there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. If you can't make it out to see us, we'll deliver a unit straight to your doorstep. So give us a call today or visit us online at O'NeillDodge.com, where we make the buying experience easy. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316familymedicine.us. 316 Family Medicine, a fresh approach to health care. Old Fashioned Hardware Store. That's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service? Or when salespeople were knowledgeable about hardware, plumbing, electrical, paint, and agricultural products? Take it further back. How about when lawn and garden seeds were scooped from bulk containers? At Messer Hardware, the best parts of the past are alive, well, and at the center of our business philosophy. We pride ourselves on offering the old-fashioned hardware store experience you grew up with. That's Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Since 1985, Osier Apparel has been a leading provider of custom apparel, specializing in corporate wear, custom t-shirts, and spirit wear. As a family-run business with over three decades of experience, they have established a reputation for delivering quality products and exceptional customer service to their clients. Choose Osier Apparel for all your custom needs. If you're thinking about selling or investing in your own piece of rural...
season. And it will forever be a Phoenix. Go Big Red. Brindley is escorted tonight by her father, Barry, and her mother, Shay. Also joining is her stepfather, John, and stepmother, Jessica Walraven. Miss Brindley McLean Walraven. Tonight in Snowball High School's reigning homecoming queen, Ms. Braley Moore. <laughs> Braley is the daughter of Scotty and Sherry Moore. While she attended SHS, she was a member of the Lady Phoenix volleyball and soccer teams, an FCA officer, host of vice president, and member of SCCLA and Beta Club. She is currently a nursing major at the University of North Georgia. Her advice to the court is to live in the moment and never take anything for granted. A year from now, you will look back and remember all the fun memories high school held. Make sure you soak it all in. Uh, it will be over before you know it. Go Nighthawks, and as always, go Phoenix. Braley is accompanied by our homecoming princesses, Miss Piper Pruitt and Miss Eden Townsend. Piper is the daughter of Clay and Kim Pruitt. She is a first grade student at Bellwood Elementary. Piper enjoys dancing, twirling, reading, and swimming. Eden is the daughter of Zach and Molly Townsend. It is in the second grade of Fairmount Elementary. She loves to tumble and cheer at Stingrays in Cartersville, and she wants to grow up to be on the Lady Phoenix softball team. These ladies are joined on the field this evening by the Snowball High School principal, Miss Amy Stewart. Thank you, Braley, Miss Stewart, and homecoming princesses, Miss Piper Pruitt and Miss Eden Townsend. Snowball High School's 2023 homecoming queen is Brindley Walring. <laughs> Sunshine. I love you, your dad. Thank you everyone for your attention and once again congratulations to our homecoming queen 2023, Miss Bradley Wall Raven. If you're thinking about selling or investing in your own piece of rural real estate, Cal Hardy with Arrowhead Land Company is the hardest working rural real estate specialist in Georgia. Arrowhead Land Company is a premier real estate brokerage company who has burst onto the scene nationally because of its hard working agents, cutting edge marketing, and grassroots values. Whether you're a hunter, farmer, rancher, or someone who appreciates the country lifestyle, give Cal a call today at 770-296-2163 to assist with all all of your real estate needs. With over 25 years real estate experience, we dedicate ourselves to doing business the right way all the time. Hi, I'm Tony Tritt, co-owner of Tritt Realty, a premier real estate brokerage serving Georgia and Alabama. Whether you're a first time buyer, a seasoned investor or builder, or maybe you're relocating to our area to embark on a new opportunity. 
We want to lock arms and guide you seamlessly through the entire real estate process from start to finish. We want to become your lifetime real estate partner. Find us online at TrittRealty.com or come on by our office in downtown Carrollton and get started today. Inception Energy Solutions specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal-approved and accredited apprenticeship program working in nine states across the southeast. If you're looking for an exciting career like former Blue Devil Brody Doss or Trevor Roberts, give Jerry Pounds or Hillary a call at 404-783-8646. Also, check them out online at InceptionSolutions.com. So join the over 70 employees that have made IES their home. That's Inception Energy Solutions. Since 2005, Caliber One Construction has provided the highest level of quality, integrity, and satisfaction in every aspect of their company. While empowering their employees to address the ongoing needs of their clients in an ever-changing environment. Through a passionate work ethic and innovative spirit. Founders Jeannie and Chris Elliott have made a commitment to customer service and customer satisfaction. That's why Caliber One Construction goes by the motto, Hype, how you prepare every day. Caliber One Construction, proud partners of WGTV and WGTV Sports. If you're looking for some of the best lemonade in West Georgia, Steve and his crew at Incredible Pulp Lemonade are serving up sunshine by the cup. With an extensive menu that includes strawberry, cherry lemonade, and watermelon, the menu also boasts a peach mango lemonade with natural peach puree stirred in the mix. If you are looking for your own cup of sunshine, give them a call or follow their Facebook page at Incredible Pulp Lemonade. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316familymedicine.us 316 Family Medicine a fresh approach to health care Located on 30 Dot Road in Bowden Arian Farm and Ranch Supply opened their doors in April of this year With backyard gardening essentials as their main focus there is so much more at Arian Farm and Ranch Supply They also serve as a full scale farm supplier and there is even some fencing options you can choose from so stop by Arian Farm and Rank Supply today for some free coffee and all of your farming needs. Are you looking for a car, a truck, or maybe one of those popular Jeeps? Look no further. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has been serving the West Georgia area for over 25 years, providing one of the largest inventories of quality trucks, cars and SUVs in the region means you're guaranteed to find the model and trim which best suits your lifestyle. Once you settle on the perfect vehicle, meet with their team of finance experts. They can help secure you the terms and rate which best fits your lifestyle. Remember, there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. That's James O'Neill, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bremen. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Service is your go-to for all your mulching, brush cutting, trenching, grading, excavator services, and more. Over in 2018, Ryan and his team have made a commitment for customer service and satisfaction. For all your mulching and skid steer needs, give Ryan and his team a call at 678-378-0683. That's 678-378-0683. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Services in Bowden. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram is a family owned and operated dealership serving West Georgia and East Alabama and supporting high school sports since the doors opened in 1990. Whether it's sales, service, parts, or financing, we're here for all your automotive needs. As the service and satisfaction winner for the past eight years and the number one Ram dealer for the past 16 years, it's guaranteed that there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. If you can't make it out to see us, we'll deliver a unit straight to your doorstep. So give us a call today or visit us online at O'NeillDodge.com, where we make the buying experience easy. 
316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316familymedicine.us 316 Family Medicine a fresh approach to health care Welcome back getting ready for the second half kickoff Ortega's got it teed up here on the 40 near hash going left to right Central Legion 24 to 7 Booming end over end high kick their guy's going to take it back around the 3 that's the quarterback had a pretty good ball game tonight. Second down and 11 from the 25-yard line for the Phoenix. Going to hand it to Key again. He's going to get hit and stacked up. Who hit him first? You know who it was, Nate Horsley. Horsley. He's already got an interception on the night, several tackles, a couple of big hits. And Nate Horsley is our leading candidate for the headhunter, wouldn't you think? Absolutely. It's third down and seven from the 29-yard line. Ball closer to the middle of the field. Four wide, two to the right, two to the left for the quarterback. Pate, he's going to drop. Now he's going to roll. He's going to throw, and he got a man. He caught it up near the 40. And they're going to say it's incomplete. And they say it's incomplete. Must have hit the ground and bounced up to him. It was awfully close. An awfully close play there for Sonorville, but I guess the throw was just a little bit too low, and he might have pulled the ball up off the ground. So Sonorville is going to have to punt it away fourth and seven from their own 29-yard line. Cam Bolton back deep to receive the punt for Central. Looked like he caught the football to me. I couldn't really tell. End over end kick, high kick. It's going to hit. Now it's going to take us an Orville row inside the central 40 and be down around the 38, 39 yard line. So the 38 yard line is where Central will put it in play first and 10. First drive for them here in the second half. Central leads it 24 to 7. They did a good job. Central did on this on that first series. They were on defense. Really, really kept Sonorville in in long to go. Sonorville had a chance to score at the end of the half, and then they would have got the ball back. And if they could have scored there and then, it would be 24-21. But nonetheless, it's Central's ball. Going to hand it to Walton, he's going to cut back, and he's going to get wrestled down around the 44-yard line, and that's going to be a gain of six for Walton. Give him seven. They're going to give him all the way. Nope. They laid it down to 44. Okay. I think Walton looks like he put on about 15 pounds since last season, and it's nothing but muscle. He's definitely the real deal. I can understand why all these – Colleges and different programs are looking at him as hard as they are. Four wide here on the near hash for the Lions. Going to bring a man in motion. Going to pitch it to him. Four. He's going to get a block. Now he's cutting. He's in their secondary. Still on his feet. Driving across midfield. Down inside their 45 to the 44. And that's going to be a James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. First down for the Lions at the Sonorable 43-yard line. Far hash. Go the Lions. 24 to 7, Central leads it. Walton, four, Walton, four did a, the ball a lot. Walton did a great job of sealing that in, blocking for him. Bolton, somebody went the wrong way, and now Harris is going to get sacked back around the 49. He turned right. Bolton went behind him left, and then he just took a sack. Yeah. Really a smart thing to do. I mean, I guess you could try to run, but there wasn't much running room. Yeah, there's nothing you could do there if you're J.R. Harris, but go down right where you were. 
Loss of six on the sack. It'll be second down and 16 from the Sonoraville 49 yard line. Far hash for the Lions going left to right. Under nine minutes, 8.50, 49, clock running. Three wide, two to the right, one to the left. Harris is in the gun, going to take turn, going to hand it to Walton. He's going to lower his head and drive all the way down to the 40-yard line. And that's going to be nine more for five, Walton. So what, third and seven now from the 40. Yep, third down and a bit more manageable for the Lions. Five wide, you got to think it's four down territory, so two plays to get the first down. You don't have to go for the whole seven yards right here, do you? No, you don't. Clock continues to run, getting down near eight minutes. Five wide, three to the right, two to the left. Harris is by himself. They're going to blitz off the edge. Now Harris is going to run. He's going to throw. He's got a man, 26, caught it. Touchdown, Lions. Wow. Avery Tanner just down all by himself. Looks like he kind of, kind of got lost in traffic there and just slipped out behind everybody on the defense. And easy, easy pitch and catch from J.R. Harris to Avery Tanner and put, put six more on the board for the Lions. And what a beautiful, accurate pass rolling to his right for Harris. What's that, two touchdowns now for him? Mm -hmm. Snap down, kick is up, and he kicked it to Calhoun, and it's good. 7.49 to play in the ball game. I mean, in the third quarter, excuse me, Central 31 and Sonoraville 7. It's the Inception Energy Solution, Carroll County Schools, high school football game of the week right here on WGTV. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316familymedicine.us. 316 Family Medicine, a fresh approach to health care. 749 left here in the third quarter. Central 31 to 7. J.R. Harris with the touchdown pass to 26. Avery Tanner, the sophomore. A lot of sophomores and freshmen and stuff on this team. It's a young Central team, and they look really good. They really do. Teed up on the 40 near hash. Ortega is going to boom one. High end over in line drive there. Guy's going to fumble the ball down at the goal line, and it's going to be a touchback. So Sonorable put it in play first and 10 from their own 20-yard line. Thirty-one to seven, Central leads at seven forty-eight to play here in the third quarter. Central looking to go seven and zero. Oh. Been pretty impressed with Central's defense tonight. Reckon when's the last time the Lions were seven and zero? Oh? Do you know? I don't know. Is it back in '86? That far back? Mm. I don't know. Maybe so. Here on the near hash for Sonorville. Central in a three-man front. Going to take turn, going to hand it to another back. Three comes in the ball game. First time we've seen him, Josh. Who's that? Yeah, number three is Jaden Cruz. He's a sophomore. Not bad. Sonorville's another team that's got a lot of youngsters playing. Yes. So these two programs should be pretty good for a, a the years. next couple of years. Four wide again, far hash for Sonorville. Going to hand it to that back three again. He's going to try to stretch it out, and he ain't going to go nowhere. He's going to lose yards in 28. Nate Horsley again. Horsley. Nate has had a fantastic ball game. I think, you know, this being the first time that 
that we've been able to see Central. I think Nate Horsley has played good defense all year long. Just that constant, solid linebacker. I remember, I remember when he was just a little fella. Mm -hmm. Look at him now, all grown up. Nate Horsley. Nate's going to drop. He's going to pump. Now he's going to throw a deep ball. He's got a man wide open. 14's going to catch it. It's a foot race. Nobody's going to catch it. And he's going to go 80 yards for the touchdown for Sonorville. And Ke he was wide open. He was wide open. Keegan Townsend, the senior from Sonorville, just all alone by himself. And that's one of those things, you know, he just ran a pretty good sideline route and nobody paid him any attention on Central's defense, and he was just all alone. Would you go for two here? If you go for two, it would be 15 would bring you within two scores, right? It would. The extra point is uh, going to be still a three-score game. I believe I would have went for two. Extra point attempt is good. 6.23 to play in the third quarter. Central 31, Sonorville 14. It's the Inception Energy Solutions, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week right here on WGTV. There is a flag, and we'll check that when we come back. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316 family medicine .us. 316 family medicine a fresh approach to health care old-fashioned hardware store that's the best way to describe Messer hardware of Bowden Georgia remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service or when salespeople were knowledgeable about hardware plumbing electrical paint and agricultural products take it further back how about when lawn and garden seeds were scooped from bulk containers at Messer Hardware, the best parts of the past are alive, well, and at the center of our business philosophy. We pride ourselves on offering the old-fashioned hardware store experience you grew up with. That's Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. So there was a personal foul penalty after the extra point. a fresh approach to health care. Old Fashioned Hardware Store. That's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service? Or when salespeople were... Back's just going to take it. Harris is just going to get eaten up by Sonorville's defense. They read that quarterback draw beautifully did Sonorville's front seven 
Loss of two back. It's going to be fourth down and 11 for the Central Lions. Clock running 528 27. Fourth down and 11, and Harris is going to have to punt the ball away for Central. Well, he's lined up in punt formation anyway. You got to think he's going to punt it right here. I didn't realize that he did, uh, was doing the punting. Not a very good try to rugby punt, but he did get a good central roll. And it looks like Sonorville's going to have it first and 10 from their 45 yard line. So, pretty good starting field position here for Sonorville. Him, Harris, and Will Wallace. Is there another one? Maybe Mount Zion's. No, I think Harris and Wallace are the two punters in our area that are quarterbacks. Yeah, quarterbacks. Maybe, maybe Kyler McGrant. No, Chris White punched for Bowden. That's right. I'm on quick guessing. Nope. Jackson Gribben at Temple. Gribben. So we got three that quarterbacks time. that are punters. Four wide for Sonorville here on the near hash. Trips right. Pate's going to drop. He's got time. And now there's a flag, and somebody's going to get called for holding. And there's a pass that's incomplete. I would think that's holding. Wouldn't yeah, you? I think that was holding here on the left side of Sonorville's line. Problem is it's going to be way behind the line of scrimmage, and if it's from the spot of the foul, it's going to be wind up being about an 18-yard penalty, ain't it? 17? Yeah, it is, and that's exactly where they're going to – well, no, he's going back to the line of scrimmage. He is. Okay. Hmm. Not a spot foul, though, huh? Thought the holding was back there around the around the 37-yard line, I thought. That's where the flag lies. Yeah, so that. So first and 20 now for Sonorville. Four wide, two to the right, two to the left. Pate's going to hand it to Key. Nope, he's going to keep it straight up the gut. Now he's going to cut back, and he's going to have to get wrestled down by Sheffield down around the central 46 yard line and all of a sudden a little momentum stirring around for Sonorville. Not a bad play call there for Sonorville. Same set, they're gonna hurry. Second and one for the Phoenix high snap, gonna fake it. Now, Pate's just gonna have to take off and run with it and he's gonna be just short of the first down. So now it's gonna be third down and inches for Sonorville. Good job out of Pate. Took that high snap, bobbled it just a little bit, but was able to to get all he could and get a little positive yardage. So third and inches for Sonorville. Here in the third quarter, 357. Pate's going to keep it, and he's going to forge ahead down inside the 45 to the 43, and that's going to be enough for a Sonorville first down. And be a much interesting, much more interesting ball game had uh, Sonorville scored there before the half. We'd be at 31-21 right now with them driving. That's right. Right now, Central's still hanging on to that 17-point lead. Clock running. It's first and 10, Sonorville. So we got a flag or a timeout? We got a flag. Timeout. I believe it's going to be a timeout, Central. Timeout on the field, we're going to take it with them. It's the Inception Energy Solutions Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week on WGTV. Old Fashioned Hardware Store. That's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service? Or when salespeople were knowledgeable about hardware, plumbing, electrical, paint, and agricultural products? Take it further back. How about when lawn and garden seeds were scooped from bulk containers? At Messer Hardware, the best parts of the past are alive, well, and at the center of our business philosophy. We pride ourselves on offering the old-fashioned hardware store experience you grew up with. That's Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Since 1985, Osier Apparel has been a leading provider of custom apparel, specializing in corporate wear, custom t-shirts, and spirit wear. As a family-run business with over three decades of experience, they have established a reputation for delivering quality products and exceptional customer service to their clients. Choose Osier Apparel for all your custom needs. 
If you're thinking about selling or investing in your own piece of rural real estate, Cal Hardy with Arrowhead Land Company is the hardest working rural real estate specialist in Georgia. Arrowhead Land Company is a premier real estate brokerage company who has burst onto the scene nationally because of its hard working agents, cutting edge marketing, and grassroots values. 3.33 to play in the third quarter, first and 10. Good protection. Pate's got all day. He's got all day. Now he's going to get sacked. 43, come off the edge, fought through the block and got the sack, and Pate had all day. Great coverage downfield by the Lions secondary. That's what you would call a coverage sack. Coverage sack. For That's Central. exactly right. But 43, Cade Moorhead came in and cleaned up the action, and Cade's had a fantastic game tonight as well from his defensive end yes, position. he's been a headhunter as well. It's going to come down to probably him and Horsley. Wouldn't you think for I that think, award? I think so. Going to hand it to Key. He's going to get hit in the backfield. 43 again. Him and Horsley. 43 and 28. Moorhead and Horsley again in the backfield at another loss on the play. Third in the bunch for Sonorville. Yeah, 28 and 43 is playing. Out of their mind tonight, aren't they? Moorhead and Horsley, attorneys at law. Yeah, I like it. Moorhead, Horsley, 2024. The possibilities are endless. Nate, the hitman, Horsley. That's I him. love it. Trips left, split right. Pate's got time. He's going to throw. He's got five. He caught it down inside Central Territory. He's down around the 38-yard line. But it's going to be fourth and a manageable anyway. I mean, it was just now third and 24, and now it's going to be fourth down and five. Great job by Sonorville. They've done a pretty good job. When Pate's had time to throw the ball, they've been successful. He's been sacked a few times, but he's actually had time to throw the ball just about every time that he's dropped back. Right. A lot of times he's gotten on the coverage sack, like you said, nowhere to go with it. Five wide. Pate's got time. He's going to look. Now he's going to have to roll. He's going to throw. He's got 14. He caught it. And he's going to get wrestled down by Sheffield, but not before. Sonorville gets another first down, and the chains are going to move. 155 to play in the third quarter. It's 31-14, but here comes Sonorville on another drive. They missed a good opportunity to call Holden down there on the far side, on this, this side defensive end. His jersey and shoulder pads got rearranged, but nonetheless, Sonorville's in business. Pate's going to take off with it. Still on his feet, and he's going to drive inside the 20 and down around the 17-yard line, and Sonorville not going to go quietly into the night here on homecoming, are they? Not at all. It's going to be second down and three, gain of seven for 17. Far hash for Sonorville. Trips left, split to the right. Pate, high snap. Ball's going to hit the ground. Pate's just going to have to fall on it back around the 30-yard line. They may give him the 29, being that they are. You know, we've seen a few of those high snaps both sides all you know pretty much all night long you gotta think that that wet grass has to play an effect on these centers so second and three is now third and 14 from the 29 yard line far hash for Sonorville. trips left split to the right gonna hand it to key seven he's gonna try to get to the edge but Nate Horsley jumps, hangs on, and then gets help. And that's what you got to do. Absolutely. So now it's going to bring up about fourth down and 10 for the Phoenix of Sonorville. They got to go for it, you got to think. They're down three scores. They're probably just going to let this run out and take it to the fourth quarter, and that's exactly what they're going to do. So time out on the field, we're going to take it with them. The Inception Energy Solutions, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week right here on WGTV. If you're thinking about selling or investing in your own piece of rural real estate, Cal Hardy with Arrowhead Land Company 
is the hardest working rural real estate specialist in Georgia. Arrowhead Land Company is a premier real estate brokerage company who has burst onto the scene nationally because of its hard working agents, cutting edge marketing, and grassroots values. Whether you're a hunter, farmer, rancher, or someone who appreciates the country lifestyle, give Cal a call today at 770-296-2163 to assist with all of your real estate needs. With over 25 years real estate experience, we dedicate ourselves to doing business the right way all the time. Hi, I'm Tony Tritt, co-owner of Tritt Realty, a premier real estate brokerage serving Georgia and Alabama. Whether you're a first time buyer, a seasoned investor or builder, or maybe you're relocating to our area to embark on a new opportunity. We wanna lock arms and guide you seamlessly through the entire real estate process from start to finish. We wanna become your lifetime real estate partner. Find us online at trittrealty.com or come on by our office in downtown Carrollton and get started today. Inception Energy Solutions specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal-approved and accredited apprenticeship program working in nine states across the southeast. If you're looking for an exciting career like former Blue Devil Brody Doss or Trevor Roberts, give Jerry Pounds or Hillary a call at 404-783-8646. Also, check them out online at InceptionSolutions.com. So join... Fourth down and 10 for Sonoraville. Pate's going to drop. Here comes the rush. He's going to step up, throw. He's got a man, big receiver, six. Caught it down inside the 10, down around the eight. And that's going to be a Sonoraville first down. And this quarterback, Pate, is a good-looking kid playing quarterback. And he's got a couple of big receivers. That was K-Man, K-Man Reynolds. So first and goes to Norville, 31-14, 43 left in the ball game. Pate's going to roll. He's going to look, and then he's just going to have to throw it away. Once again, Central with great coverage down inside the red zone. Central is just fantastic coverage, and they run that 3-3-5 defense, and that time one of those defensive ends got loose for Central. I believe that's number 18, Gerald Long. He's a sophomore. He's played a, a decent ball game tonight as well. Second down and goal from the eight. For Sonorville, Pate's going to drop. Now he's going to take off with it, and he's going to run straight up the middle. He got hit, but he scores. And Sonoraville pulls it six points closer with a PAT awaiting. Sonoraville just did a great job there running that design quarterback draw. Their offensive line did a good job of, of creating a hole for, for Pate. And he just scooted right on in for six. So we got a ball game, folks, 31 to 20, PAT awaiting. Snap, down, kick is up, and he missed it. Wow, he pulled it left. So Central still up by 11. 31 to 20, your score, 11, 31 to play. We got any, we got any, uh, any scores? Oh, I'm sure we do. Oh, yeah, he missed it way left, man. Whenever you look, man. This YouTube picture is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Final in Harrelson County, Rotmart defeated the, the uh, Rebels 48-6. Carrollton's all over East Coweta 42-10 in the third. Calhoun is up on Hiram 41-28 in the third. In the fourth quarter, homecoming for Mount Zion, the Mount Vernon Mustangs all over them 42-17. And Bowden's up 56 to 7 over Forest Park in the fourth quarter. Bremen's a, up 21 14 on Lafayette. What about uh, Douglas County? Douglas County's up 24 to nothing over Paulding County at the half. And South Paulding's leads New Manchester 10 6 at the half. Short end over end kick going to be taken around the 37 yard line. Fair cat. Fair. Catch made by nine for the Lions. That's Josh Johnson, another junior for this central team. Cedartown all over Heritage, 41 to 14. What about uh, Cartersville Cass? I think they're playing tonight as well. Let's see if we can find the Cartersville Cass score. 
11-31 to play in this one. Central leads it 31 to 20. And the Lions got the football. First and 10 from their own 37. Pretty good field position to start this drive. Cartersville and Cass tied at seven at the half. Wow. Going to hand it to Walton. He's going to get stacked up and he's going to lose a yard, maybe two. They're going to lay him down at the 35, but I'm quite sure he got back up to the 36. But they're going to say, nope, there it is. So loss of one. And that's something you don't see me at much of. And that's Jonas Walton getting tackled for a loss. Twins right, split left for the Lions. They're showing blitz. It's adorable. They've gotten to Harris a couple of times. Hand to Walton. Still on his feet, up the middle, driving. Look at him, push the pile up over the 40 to the 41. It's going to be a gain of five. It's going to bring up a third down and six situation for Central. All of a sudden, this Norval defense has gotten a little stingy, haven't they? Yeah, they, they have. 31 to 20. We got a ball game still, folks. Don't go anywhere. Harris is going to look to the side for the change. 12, 11 seconds on the play clock. Four wide. Or three, really, one and a wing. Harris going to take, going to hand it to Walton. Straight up the gut, and he's going to run it up over the 45 to the 48-yard line, and that's a gain of about seven for five, and that's a James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram first down for the Lions. Good job out of that central offensive line, opening up a gaping hole, and it didn't take much for Walton to hit it, and he was up over enough for a first down. Cam Bolton checks in and out, tailback. Going to flop the wing back, going to hand it to Bolton. He's going to get stacked up, lost a half a yard. The defensive front and offensive front for Sonorville has played great tonight. They have. I mean, they really have because when Pate drops, he's got five, six seconds to throw the football every time or nearly every time. Yeah. Even though... Now, when Central dials up some pressure and brings somebody off the edge, it tends to mess all that up. Harris is going to drop. He's going to look. Got a man, 11, over the middle. Caught it. Breaks a tackle. Jukes another one. Still on his feet. Foot race. Touchdown, Central. Marshawn Horton. Just a beautiful route. A fantastic pitch and catch. And J.R. Harris put some zip on the ball. 53 yards. That only Horton could get, and Horton got it. He was off to the races. J.R. Harris throws a good ball almost every time he throws one. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a play. Extra point is good. 8.55 to play in the ball game. Central extends their lead 38-20 to over the Phoenix. Let's take our sponsors, Josh, can we? We can. You want to? Absolutely. Do you mind? This is the Inception Energy Solution, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week. This is brought to you by 316 Family Medicine, Inception Energy Solutions, Osier Apparel, Caliber One Construction, James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, Tritt Realty, Incredible Pulp, Cal Hardy and Arrowhead Land Company, Messer Hardware in Bowden, Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Services, and Arion Farm and Ranch Supply. You do that so well. It's almost like you're a professional. Almost as if you've done this before, John. Almost. I might have done it a time or two over the years. It's hard to remember. This sack of groceries goes where? And with that sack, <laughs> another sack of groceries is on its way to the filling station food bank, courtesy of Thrift Town Grocery. Thrift Town Grocery, the way things used to be. That's our old buddy, Chad. We can give him a free plug. Absolutely. Man. Thrift Town Grocery in Bremen. Ortega got it teed up on the 40. Far hash. 
call this, Josh. See if he can get you a touchdown. Ortega, toe meets leather with a high booming kick, driving him all the way back to the goal line. And that's Pate, the quarterback. He's bringing it up. Good return. And he is up over the 25 to about the 26-yard line. And number nine uh, for Central, Josh Johnson with the tackle. We remember that name. Galbert Bremen played safety and wide receiver, played for four year, four or five years over at West Jordan. Yeah. Josh Johnson. Yeah. Remember him? Sure do. Played in one of those arena-type football leagues. I can't remember the league that he played in, but it, it looked really fun. Yep. So Norville's out here on offense, four wide. Pate's got White Key with a single set with him. Snap, and he's looking to throw. He rolls to his right, and he's got a man open, and he just threw it a little bit too far out of bounds. Led his receiver, number six. I believe that's Elijah Woods. So it's going to be second down and, and 10 for Sonorville. 8.42 left to go in the ball game. Your score, Central 38, Sonorville 20. So Norville's got it second and 10 from their own 26 yard line. Got four wide again. Man in motion. Pate's looking to throw. Got a little bit of pressure. He rolls, throws, and just overshoots his man. And that's five over there on the far side on central side. Pate does a good job. If if he senses a little bit of pressure or anything, he rolls well. We've got a flag on the play. I believe it's going to be holding against Sonorville. The officials checking with Coach Brown to see what he wanted to do. And I think he's just going to decline that penalty, and it'll be, nope, never mind. He's taking the penalty. So Pate, the quarterback, is a senior. And he is a good-looking football player. He really is. So it's going to be second down and 20 from the 16-yard line for Sonorville. Four wide. Pate looks to the sideline to see if they're going to check the play. Pate's got it. Drops back to pass. Got all the time in the world. Throws it over the middle to who else? But Wyatt Key into traffic. What a catch by Wyatt Key because let me tell you something. As soon as he touched the ball, two central lines were waiting to pounce on him, and they hit him pretty hard. But Wyatt Key held on to the football, and that's up to the 46-yard line and enough for a sonorable first down with eight minutes and 25 seconds left to go in this ball game. Sonorville's got it first and 10 from the 46. He about got sandwiched right there. I know, but he, he hung on to the football. That, Why, that really amazed me that he hung on. White Key is another senior, and he's a football player. So, Snorville's four wide again. Key the single set. Pate drops back, rolls to his right. He's looking. He just dumps it over, and it's picked off by number 31 for Central. Nate Horsley with the tip, and 31 for Central being – Jalen White, a senior, and Central's going to take over first and 10 on the Jalen White pick that none other than Nate, the hitman Horsley. The hitman. Got up enough to tip that and knock the, knock the ball off course, and Jalen White found it. So Central will take over, be in business, first and 10 from the 48-yard line of Sonorville. Kind of figure who our player of the game and ha uh, headhunter is. We we gotta gotta, gotta find us a hog. Find us a hog. I, I've seen a lot of good play out of a lot of kids. Yep. We got twins right, split left, wing back is Walton. Harris takes. He looks, swings that out, and well, he got hit pretty hard by Sonorville. Loss of about three on the play. That was 26. Avery Tanner, the sophomore. So Central's going to have it second down and 12 from the from midfield. 
clock running 742-41. Central comes out again. Twins left. Split right. Got a man in the wing. He goes in motion. Harris takes, turns, and hands it to Bolton. And Bolton tries to bounce it outside. He gets up about two yards back to the original line of scrimmage before he's run out of bounds. Well, tackled on the boundary. They're still running the clock. It's going to be third down and ten for the Lions. So Norville's defense, like we said earlier, they've gotten stingy in the second half. But Central's yeah. got it, third and ten. Well, when you're at home, it's uh, homecoming and stuff. You you, you kind of kind of feel like you gotta stand up for the home team. Don't you, you do, you and, do. And they have played much better in this second half. Harris takes a snap. He's looking to pass, and he is just wrapped up and eat up all the way back to about the 43-yard line. Loss of. Gosh, about 13 yards, and Central is going to have to punt. Not a bad job out of Sonorville's defense on that series. Clock still running, 6-10, 6-0-9. Harris back in punt formation. He gets off a... Low line drive punt that takes and just dies right around the 33, 34 yard line. That thing Norval. checked up like my pitching went hit from 80 yards out, baby. <laughs> I'm talking about that ball hit. That ball hit didn't bounce or anything. It just died. Like like me getting on the green there and just burying that ball in a big old divot. Yeah. Just drives the greenskeepers at Tally Mountain Golf and Country Club crazy. Not the country club. The country club. I'm a member of a country club. It's about the only place I'm worthy to play golf at <laughs> over in Tallapoosa, <laughs> and I love it. So, Sonorville takes over first and ten. Four wide. Webb's back there with Pate. Pate's in the shotgun. He takes a snap. He looks, fakes it to Webb. Pate, Webb. Huh. Keith. Throws it over. He's got it to 14, and 14 with a big gain all the way down to about the 38-yard line in central territory. Sonorville gets a new set of downs. It's going to be first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Five minutes and 49 seconds left to go in the game. Central's up 38 to 20. Sonorville comes up quickly to the line four wide, same formation. Pate looks... He's rolling to his right. He's gotten a little pressure. Now he's just running, and he's going to get all he can get and run out of bounds by Caden Moorhead and Nate the Hitman Horsley. That's why I was going to say, look who is trailing him and running him out of bounds. None of the 43 and 28. And Those guys. Something drastic is going to have to happen here in this last uh, five minutes, 40 seconds for me to change my mind on them two sharing the headhunter of the week. Yeah. I'm with you on that. Sonorables four wide. Webb's back there in the single set. Pate in the shotgun. Takes a snap. Pate's looking to throw. He's got a man open. He hits it on over the middle. And he's going to pick up another, another first down for Sonorville. And that's number six. That's Cayman Reynolds, a what junior. Is he? I was gonna say, he's just a junior. He's a good-looking kid, big, tall, thick kid. that has got good hands. He catches everything. Runs he, pretty good route. He really does. Haven't seen what his uh, open field speed is, really, but uh, he looks good out there catching the ball. What did you say he was, 6'4"? I didn't, it didn't say. He's got to be every bit of 6'4". They're going to run a reverse flea flicker, and Webb is just – he's sacked. Gobbled up. Gobbled up. up. Number seven, Andrew Sheffield was not fooled at all by that double reverse flea flicker. And as soon as as soon as Pate got the ball, Andrew Sheffield was all over him. For and again, a, 43 and 28 in the backfield <laughs> with it. For, for a big loss, it's going to be God, second down and, and a half of axle greasing all the way back to the 41-yard line. 
And I believe we've got a timeout. Central's called a timeout. Timeout on the field. We're going to take it with them, Tom. Let's do it. You're listening. You're watching the Inception Energy Solution, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week right here on WGTV. Inception Energy Solutions specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal approved and accredited apprenticeship program working in nine states across the southeast. If you're looking for an exciting career like former Blue Devil Brody Doss or Trevor Roberts, give Jerry Pounds or Hillary a call at 404-783-8646. Also, check them out online at InceptionSolutions.com. So join the over 70 employees that have made IES their home. That's Inception Energy Solutions. Since 2005, Caliber One Construction has provided the highest level of quality, integrity, and satisfaction in every aspect of their company. While empowering their employees to address the ongoing needs of their clients in an ever-changing environment. Through a passionate work ethic and innovative spirit. Founders Jenny and Chris Elliott have made a commitment to customer service and customer satisfaction. That's why Caliber One Construction goes by the motto Hype, how you prepare every day. Caliber One Construction, proud partner of WGTV and WGTV Sports. We're back at the furnace on the campus of Sonorville High School. Sonorville's got it. Second 25 from the 41. Who's the fourth man in the fire? That's Jesus. It would be. Pate just overshot his man. I don't know. I was thinking of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when you said in, the furnace. In Jesus. Yeah. That's right. He was definitely the fourth man in the fire. He was. Andrew Sheffield there on the coverage that time wasn't going to let anybody break contain like they have before. So now it's going to be third down and 25 from the 41. 428 left to go in the game. Clock has stopped with the incomplete pass. Central leads 38 to 20. Four wide, same formation. Peyton Webb back. Peyton's got it. He's looking just straight quarterback draw. And Peyton did a little shifty moving. He's moving and shaking. And he had to be tackled deep in Central territory. And he's very close to a first down. I tell you I, what, Josh, you can take your hat off if, uh, and, and tip your hat to this bunch right here from Sonorva. I'm talking about absolutely refuse to give up in this football game, and they just keep fighting and keep fighting and keep fighting, and they're going to give them a first down. And I'm just impressed with the fight in this Sonorva team. I, I tell you what, you're actually absolutely right. They have played a, a pretty good football game tonight. They given up, gave up some big plays here in the first half to Central allowing Central to score, but once they settled down and settled in, Sonorville has played a great game. Four wide again, single set. Webb's back there with Pate. Pate takes the ball. He's looking to pass. He slings it out to Webb. Webb makes a man miss, and he hits the edge and is run out of bounds after a gain of about four. He runs out of bounds, so the clock will stop with three minutes and 34 seconds left. Going to be second down in about six yeah, this, or seven for Sonorville. This kid in the backfield, seven, Wyatt, what is his name, White Key? White Key. I've been calling him well. You have, but it's all good. His mom and daddy don't care. No, they don't care. He's a whatever his, mama's his name is. His name's Webb. So, I mean, you all <laughs> Whatever right. his name is, he's a fine running back. Pate's got it. He's looking downfield. Got a little bit of pressure, but he throws it. No, oh, it's almost picked off. In the end zone by Central, knocked away, passes incomplete. Going to bring up third that was down. Eight, wasn't it? That was eight. Going to bring up third and seven for Sonorville from the thirteen. The senior Aiden Relford. 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 He's played a pretty good ball game tonight. R e l t h Ford. Relford. Relford. Like well, you it. think with a name like Eric Quazo that I could say something like that. Well, you know? sometimes that just happens. So, Sonorville's got it again. Four wide, of course. And Pate looks to throw and just wasn't on the same page with his receiver out here. Pass is incomplete, and it's going to bring up fourth down and seven from the 13 for Sonorville. 
I mean, if you kick a field goal here, it pulls you within two scores still. It does, but three and a half, 323 left. Kind of feel like you got to. You got to try to get six in this position and then look to get another onside kick recovered. White key back in the backfield with Pate. Sidecar left. Pate takes a snap, drops back, lets a beautiful ball go. Touchdown, Sonorable. 14, Kinkin Townsend once again with the score. And with three minutes and 16 seconds left, Sonorable has pulled within 12 with the extra point coming up. Yeah, and that's two touchdown passes to 14. And Josh, your first touchdown call of the year happens to be for the Sonorable Phoenix. Nice call. Write that down. Write it down. 38-26, the score. Easy times, baby. Easy, Easy times. times. And Sonorville's going to go for two. Bunched up. Key back in the backfield. He's going to take, nope. Beautiful play design out of the Phoenix as they slip number 44 just out of the backfield with a little misdirection, and Pate hits him, and the two-point conversion is good. Sophomore Will Patterson. So with three minutes and 16 seconds to go in this ball game, Sonorville has pulled within 10 points of the central lines. 38-28 is your score with the onside kick about to go down. Sonorville's already recovered one little onside kick, if, if that's what you call it, and did that in the first half and then couldn't do anything with the, with the football there as uh, – as the first half was winding down. So we'll see here. Don't go anywhere. It could get interesting for these last three minutes and 16 seconds. And this is what happens whenever you have a team, again, at home. It's homecoming night, and they look like they're fixing to get run out of the building, and all of a sudden this team comes comes out in the second half just playing great football defensively. They moved the ball offensively, put it in the end zone. So uh, – you know, as, as good as Central looks, you still got to tip your hat, I'm telling you, to this Phoenix team because they could have rolled over and very easily got run out of the building tonight. Yeah. And instead they just kept fighting and kept fighting and kept fighting. And how uh, big is that uh, uh, end of the quarter, end of the half play where they could have scored and didn't? Oh, it's huge. A touchdown right there, you'd be down three. We'd be looking at a three-point game. But nonetheless, here we go. They flip-flopping everybody on this onside kick attempt. And I don't know if this is even a legal. I don't even know if this is a legal formation. I think it is now. Yeah, I think you got to have four, at least four on one side. Right. And that There's is a kick, and it's off. Somebody's offside. There's a flag. Evidently, they didn't have enough. You know, when I was in school, you could just bunch them all up onto one side and yeah. kick it over to them. That's the way it was when I was in school. Now We had everybody on that. one side and a safety guy on the other just in case something happened. So, you know, uh, I'm getting text messages with several people wanting to know. Um, what happened to you? What happened? <laughs> no, what happened with you and I? You know, we we busted out and blame it on the rain and just cut it off and quit. They they want to hear some more of the what, greatest duo ever, man, what, Millie Vanilli. Well, if they want to do that, they're gonna to have to pay to subscribe to our West Georgia TV's premium YouTube no. channel, <laughs> the uncensored one. <laughs> so it looks like now Sonorville's just gonna kick it. And play a little defense, but who knows? Yeah, nope. Different. Oh! And Sonorville got the football. Wow. And guess who recovered it? Their quarterback, number 17. He has. Pate. Pate came on the hands team. He plays everywhere. I don't think he plays on defense, but he's everywhere else on the football field is senior Jackson Pate. That was perfect, man. That, Great that was, kick, got the bounce, and their guy jumped up and caught it just across the 10-yard mark, and now Sonorville's got it, Josh. Yeah. 
You care if I call him? No, I think you need to. <laughs> You've done right. I've done enough. Yeah, you've helped uh, Sonoma get back in the game, haven't you? You're going to blame that on me. No. Nope. Okay. There's a good pass. 14 caught it. Good night. 14 right. can catch the football, and that's a first down Sonoma. And I'm telling you, folks, you better hang on. 309 with, to play in this one, and sonorville has got three timeouts. The clock's going to stop with the move of the chains. They got it first and 10 at the Central 30. Clock running. Pate's going to drop. He's got all day to throw. And now he's going to throw. He's got a man on the side. And he's going to get wrestled down inbounds. Doesn't get the first down. He could have took it straight out of bounds and got the, the stop of the clock, but he didn't. And that was uh, that was not a very smart play there. No, it wasn't. And I get what he was trying to do. So Norville has to burn a timeout. I get what he was trying to do. He was trying to take that little jab step out and cut back in and try to get away from – from Central, but number 11 for Central, Marshawn Horton had a did a beautiful job right there with an open field tackle, and just kind of held on to him till he could get help to come and clean the play up. And kept him in bounds. I mean, he could have went straight out of bounds. It would have saved them a timeout in about 10 seconds. But nonetheless, here we are. We got any scores? You got any scores, John? Bet you right now, that's what their coach, Sonorville's coach, is telling them. Get all you can and try your best to get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. Let's see. we got to save as much time as possible. And timeouts. Of course, Rockmart over Harrelson County tonight, 48-6 to final. Carrollton's all over East Coweta, 49-24. to Cedartown, 44-21 to over Heritage in the fourth. Bremen and Lafayette are tied up at 21 in overtime. Newnan's 27-10 over Alexander. Douglas County still 24-0. And Calhoun 56-35 over Hiram in the third. Pate's going to drop. He's going to look. He's going to step up. 14, his main guy, went streaking across the middle of the field. And Sheffield was step by step, but there is a flag. I believe that's going to get Sonorville called for holding. That's what I'm. That's what I think I saw out there. But they're talking about it. Oh, the illegal shift is going to be the call against the normal. So they're going to take the penalty. It's central. Yeah. 242 to play in the ball game. 38-28. Central leads it. Backs them up five, but they get still second down. Four wide for Sonorville. Far hash, second down and seven. Gonna bring a man in motion. Snap, Pete, time. Now he's gonna get rushed. He's gonna roll uh flushed out, and then he's gonna run out of bounds. Around the 23-yard line, it's going to bring up a third down at about three. Well, 2.36 to play in the game. Clock stopped with the out-of-bounds. It looks like they're saying he stepped out of yeah. the 35. Yeah, it's going to be third down and five. But the important thing for Sonorville is he did step out of bounds and stop that clock without them having to call a timeout. The lines. Defense going to have to stand up right here. Far hash for Sonorville. Pate's going to drop, throw it to seven key out of the backfield. He's going to get out of bounds just shy of the 20, or are they going to give him the 20? I can't tell. They're tents in my way, so I can't see where they're going to put the ball. They're going to come up short. Fourth and one. This could be your ball game right here. If you're at home, get up and start screaming for this Central defense, fourth and one. And if Central can hold them right here, it's pretty much going to be the ball game. So it's fourth and one for Sonoraville at the Central 21-yard line. They need the 20 here on the near hash. Like I said, if you're at home, get up and start screaming for this Central line defense. We need to stop. Fourth and one for Sonoraville. Snap, going to fake it. 17's going to keep it. Pate, he's going to 
drive inside the 20, and he's going to come up with a Sonoraville first down. Clock's going to stop with a first down. Movement of the change. Two timeouts for Sonoraville. 38 28 your score. 223 to play. There goes the clock. It's going to start running. 217 16 here in the fourth quarter. Four wide. Single set is key. Roland is Pate. Now he's going to step back and throw, and he overshot his guy. Now they're going to call pass interference. And that's going to be, what, half the distance of the goal in an automatic first down? It is. I don't think that ball is catchable, but that was definitely pass interference. <laughs> so that should be the half the distance from around the 15. So that will take it down to the seven and a half. So it should be first and goal down around the seven, right? That's right. With two minutes, six seconds to go in the ball game. And I wasn't counting on this one in the second half being like it is, but it's been a pretty dang entertaining ball game. Well, and that's why I've made the statements that it's first and two. Yeah. Uh, from the seven. That's why I've made the statement. That this team from Snorville could have just rolled over and got hammered here. But instead, they kept fighting and fighting. Now here's the quarterback draw. Pate going to run. Touchdown. They giving it to him? No, they're going to say he's short. They're going to say he's short. 157 to play in the ball game. As soon as they get the chain set, the clock will start running. Two timeouts for them. 38 28 is your score. First and goal, Phoenix from the goal line. And now, still waiting. Still waiting. No signal yet. Second down. They're going to say second down. Clock nope. still running. 138 37. I don't know how you can tell. Second and goal. Ball hits the ground. The ball is on the ground. And did Pate pick it up and drive to the end zone? I thought the ball hit the ground. I thought it did too, but it's third down now. What a defensive play here by this Central Lion defense. They kept him out of the end zone, and now it is literally third down and goal, and it is – Inches. inches away from the goal line, and Sonorable is going to have to use one of their timeouts. That'll leave them with one, one fourteen to play. Still a ten-point game, thirty-eight to twenty-eight. Central leads it, and Sonorable is literally inches away from the goal line. If we could, is there any way we get a camera zoomed in on? Look at there. Yes, we can get a camera zoomed in on it. So they're a half a football away from a touchdown. It's the normal. Wow. Half a football or a half a foot. Somebody's ref that referee's foot, half his foot. <laughs> he does have a pretty big foot. But still, it's close. About 12. He wears about a size 12 yeah. there. So yeah. it's uh, about five and a half, six inches from the goal line. Yeah. Right? That's right. We know some things. We do. Look at that camera work by our guys. And just right on the ball. I'm talking about bird's eye. Just zoomed in on it. And I'm telling you, if you left us with this game at halftime, boy. You've missed a good one. You have missed a great second half. It's an Orville's outscored Central here in the second half. 21 to 14, haven't That's they? That's right. So here we go. Another third and goal. Pate's under center. They jump, and they're going to get about three inches. They do, I'm saying, being central. I mean, how do you move the ball? I mean, I you think can't you even just, move the ball. I think you just pick it up and put it back down. and Twist it. Twist it. If they played twister with it, it'd score, wouldn't That's it? That's right. Third goal. Pate is going to get stood up. Now the second effort may have gotten in. And there's still no call, and there it is. His second effort got in, but that defensive front for three consecutive plays just stood up this big quarterback from a co uh, quarterback sneak, and he almost didn't get in. That's right. Second effort right there got him. Got him into pay dirt. So with a minute, seven seconds left to go in the ball game, they're an extra point away from pulling within three points. Another onside kick, and they get it. We're 
looking at <laughs> we're looking at a great finish. Not just a good one. I believe Central jumped there on the end. One oh seven to play. Thirty eight to thirty four. They are a PAT away from pulling to within three. High snap, great job by 13. Who is 13 for them? Man, he just pulled down a high snap. It's Chaz Pate, he must be, he's their backup quarterback, sophomore. Did a great job of pulling that high snap down. Must be the uh, starters, Jackson Pates. Could brother, be his brother. Think. Or at least a cousin. Nonetheless, the extra point attempt is good. 107 to play in the ball game. Central 38, Sonoraville 35. And you got to expect another onside kick here. Out of Sonoraville, they only have one timeout left. They're showing two on the board, but Sonoraville used one, two on that drive. Excuse me. What a game. What a finish we got. Tell of two halves. Central led the first half 24 to 7, and Norville has won the second half, 28 to 14 thus far. Central leads by three. So here it comes. It's going to take, hit, it's going to bounce, seven. Somebody just got hammered, good Lord. Sheffield, Andrew makes the play for the Lions. So now we just don't need to turn the ball over. We just got to hang on to the football. No bad snaps, none of that. And you could get some, you could get a high snap or something here. We've seen it most of the night from both sides. But you got to think Central's about to line up in the sweetest formation. Nope, they got their offense out on the field. Well, they're showing that they have two timeouts, but I believe that Snorville used two on that drive, so they only got one. Harris going to take turn, going to hand it to Walton. Walton's going to get to the edge. Forget about it. Nobody will catch him. 51 yards, Walton for the touchdown. And 55, Eli Somerville shaking up here on the – on the play for Central. That's a 316 urgent care injury timeout, but it was a brief one. Yeah, Somerville's played his hind end off tonight. He has played a great job. Jonas Walton, 51 yards to the house on that touchdown. And Central's up 44 to 35. One play with the PAT awaiting. So Sonorable's defense kind of stifled this high potent offense of Central for a while. Kicks up and good. There is a flag on the play. Sonorable brought the house on that last uh, yeah. on that last play, and once Walton made one move, he was gone. Forget about it. Forget about it. Offsides hard time, was the, hard time, Daddy. <laughs> Offsides was the call against Sonorable. And that penalty is declined. So we're going to retry the PAT. 58 seconds to play in this one. After the onside kick central one play, 59, uh, 51 yards. And that one's going to go through. And with 58 seconds left to play, it's 45-35. Let's keep it right here. We'll thank our sponsors. And we're going to run this game on out and finish it. Yep. See if we can't get Central back home with another win and 7-0. 316 Family Medicine, Inception Energy Solutions, Osier Apparel, Caliber One Construction, James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, Tritt Realty, Incredible Pulp, Cal Hardy with Arrowhead Land Company, Messler Hardware in Bowden, 
Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Services, and the Arion Farm and Ranch Supply are your sponsors for tonight and each night that we get to do these high school football games of the week. Do want to remind y'all the post game show tonight will not be seen. The post game show will not air tonight. Uh, Kale is under the weather. Coach Singleton's under the weather. Sal's on vacation. We're all the way, the rest of the team's all the way up here in Gordon County. So, no way we'll make it back tonight in time for uh, the Inception Energy Solutions post game show. But we do appreciate each and every one of you watching here. Had a little bit of difficulty early on, but once we got everybody on YouTube, everything went well, right? And we blamed it on the rain. Blame it on the rain. Yeah, yeah. You just left me out there by myself. Don't put the blame on you. Ortega, high, booming, end over end kick. And he is taking the ball from the goal line, and that is, guess who? Pate, the quarterback, and he just gets tripped up there by 26 for Central. has really been a tale of two halves and it's been a good good ball game to watch it's been pretty fun to call play clocks running 22 21 seconds Sonorville's looking to the sideline for the play they're still in four wide well with key the single set pay the quarterback man in motion that's number two Pate's looking Got a little rush on him. He has to step up. Now he's just throwing. He gets a ball complete over on the central sidelines. He cuts up into the middle. He's going to be short about two yards, and Sonorville has to call their final timeout of the night with 22 seconds left to go in this ball game. Who would have thought that at halftime that this was going to be a ball game in the second half? I mean, Sonorville played great. The second half didn't lay down. Central's going to get out of here with a win, another big region win, and they're going to move to 7-0. and and I don't know, tip your hat to Sonorable and uh, these bunch of kids, man. They uh, just kept fighting, and, and, you know, here we are with 22 seconds left in the ballgame. When we got down to a minute left in the ballgame, we still had a ball game. It was mm -hmm. three points. What, 107 to play this three-point ball game, right? Yep. Sonorville brought the house on defense. Jonas Walton made one move, and he was gone. They brought the house, and when they did, he took it to the house. He took it to the house. Hard times. Daddy. But Sonorville hadn't played tonight like they're a two-and-four football team at all. No, not at all. Central is what we thought they were, though. They're very, very, very good. This is a talented football team that they have over at Central. And they're young. A lot of young cats on this team. They like really are. Moorhead and Horsley, I think they're juniors, right? Yeah. And then you got um, okay. right, J.R. Harris is a freshman. Freshman and, and Walton's a sophomore. And so Pate takes it, throws a quick shot. And it's complete over on Central sidelines. 
So Norville's going to have enough for a first down. Move the chains. We got 18 seconds left to go in this one. And Sonorville is still on a drive. Probably about in range, so Pate's got an arm big enough. He can take shots at the end zone if he has time. He's back to pass, throws the ball there over the middle and just bounces it to his receiver. So the clock will stop with 14 seconds left to go in the ball game. Probably a good thing to let that ball just bounce. Where are we at next week? Next week, we're going to be back in Bowden. Friendly city. The friendly city. As region Heritage play. comes calling, right? <laughs> Christian Heritage region play finally starts for the Bowden Red Devils. As Christian Heritage comes in, Pate gets it, drops it off to to White and White Key, and he just drops it. But it's going to be third down and and ten for the Sonorville Phoenix with 11 seconds left to go in the game. So we will be close to home next week in the friendly city. I wish the Falcons would trade for Justin Fields. I do too. I really think he'd do good here Justin, with what we got with those running Justin backs. Fields got me 30.8 fantasy points last night. He got me 36.8. And DJ Moore was my receiver, and he, he got me 22 or 23. <laughs> I started off with a bang. Yeah. You did too. I did. Man in motion. Pate drops back. He's looking, and we got a hold or a chop block or something. That pass is incomplete. We got enough laundry on the field that we need to call Centos. We tell need to, to call come Centos. Pick it up and come clean it up, right? As Coach Best would say, the flags came in like paratroopers. From everywhere. From all directions. How about his grandson, Will Wallace, for Villarica playing great? Well, ever since they moved him to quarterback, Villarica's three and one. They are, and Will has just been playing tremendous. We got to see him last week. Hmm. I think they're three and zero oh with him at quarterback. I think right? you're right. Yeah. Holden was the call against Sonorville, so that's going to back them up to third down and a well, third down and. 49 essentially from the 49 yard line with six seconds left. You got to just take a shot at the end zone. I am excited about seeing some more uh, and seeing what happens with the central football team and how far and how deep this team can go. This is a good. Oh, a double hook and ladder and that just didn't, the it didn't third work. third one didn't work either. The, the double hook and ladder just didn't work. And that's going to do it here in Sonoraville, Georgia. It's Sonorville High School. Your final score, Central 45, Sonorville 35. We're going to run them around the block. No, we're, we're going gonna, to keep it right here. We're going to keep it here. We're going to give out some awards, and then yeah, we're going to get on the road. we got a long ride so we can get we out we got a long ride. We got may have to stop back by Bucky's to get some road trip fuel, yeah, but so probably not. I tell you what, though, look at our guy, Jeremy. He's down there on the field getting a great close-up shot of, uh, uh, of the two teams and uh, – Central moves to 7-0. and What a good football team they have. Coach uh, Brown and gang over at Central High School. But, gang, we're going to have to give away. We're going to give away some awards, and then we're going to have to get out of here. Like I said, we got a long ride and long stuff to clean up. But uh, our Osier Apparel Awards for tonight's game. Um, who's your hog over there, Joshua? Hog of the game tonight for me is going to be number 55, Eli Somerville. Just played a tremendous game tonight. Sort of acted as the anchor for that offensive line for Central, and uh, just he alone, you could we could really could have picked an offensive lineman to have given it to tonight. But Eli had a heck of a ball game and uh, led the way for 45 points for Central to score. So he is our hog of the uh, of the week. Player of the game. Uh had a couple of kids that uh, played their hearts out, and I have tons of kids that played their hearts out tonight, but a couple of them that could have could have very easily, I mean, Nate Horsley, you could have made him player of the game, or uh, or Cade Moorhead, one of those two you could have made the player of the game. What about 26? Uh, Avery the, Tanner. Tanner, I mean, he scored two touchdowns, had 
you know, several tackles, a couple of big hits himself. But Walton, Bolton. Walton, you know, and uh, Walton had, you know, several long runs. But tonight it's going to go to the quarterback, J.R. Harris, a misty, rainy, cool night. And uh, he threw the ball very well, three touchdown passes, uh, well over 200 yards through the air. And J.R. Harris is going to be your player of the game. But, you know, we really couldn't decide on this headhunter thing, Josh. And we went with two of them. We, we, we just have to. we got to have two of them. Absolutely. And uh, Nate, the hitman Horsley, and your man 43 off the edge, Cade, Cade Moorhead. Cade Moorhead. I tell you what, both of those guys just played a tremendous game tonight on the defensive side of the ball. Nate with the big interception. Nate had another tip pass that ended up leading to a central interception and then making tackles left and right, and then Cade Moorhead from that defensive end position just wreaked Ooh. havoc. And most he had all probably the long. biggest hit of the night uh, yeah. for Central now. Their yeah. guy had a big hit yeah. earlier too uh, as well, one of their guys. But, yeah, uh, you're both your headhunters of the game, uh, um, Nate Horsley and uh, Cade Moorhead, like I said, uh, the hog of the game, Eli Somerville and your player of the game, J.R. Harris. Special shout-out to several of them. Uh, and uh, Coach Umbre is doing a great job, man, with this team. 7-0 and on the season, and Central just keeps rolling. He is, and they are. But guess what, gang? It's time for us to get on up get on out of here. It is time for us to saddle up and ride. Remember, make Jesus famous, guys. God bless you. Good night. If you're thinking about selling or investing in your own piece of rural real estate, Cal Hardy with Arrowhead Land Company is the hardest working rural real estate specialist in Georgia. Arrowhead Land Company is a premier real estate brokerage company who has burst onto the scene nationally because of its hard working agents, cutting edge marketing, and grassroots values. Whether you're a hunter, farmer, rancher, or someone who appreciates the country lifestyle, give Cal a call today at 770-296-2163 to assist with all all of your real estate needs. With over 25 years real estate experience, we dedicate ourselves to doing business the right way all the time. Hi, I'm Tony Tritt, co-owner of Tritt Realty, a premier real estate brokerage serving Georgia and Alabama. Whether you're a first time buyer, a seasoned investor or builder, or maybe you're relocating to our area to embark on a new opportunity. We want to lock arms and guide you seamlessly through the entire real estate process from start to finish. We want to become your lifetime real estate partner. Find us online at trittrealty.com or come on by our office in downtown Carrollton and get started today. Inception Energy Solutions specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal...